Hey everybody, welcome to the show. The Greenlight Weekend Podcast is sponsored by Dead Room Comedy. Dead Room Comedy is a comedy group and production company based in Denver, Colorado. You can check them out at deadroomcomedy.com where you can find the weekly one-liners. You can sign up, get original jokes every Monday to laugh your way through the work week. Also, check them out at Dead Room Comedy on Instagram. And uh, yeah, I love Dead Room Comedy. They're fucking awesome. And I hope you guys uh, check them out. It's uh, Elliot Weber, Jacob Jonas, Josh Emerson, and Jeff Stonick. I look up to all of them as comics, but I look up to Josh Emerson as a man. Yeah, he's a Marine. Fucking American hero. Uh, yeah, so support Dead Room Comedy. I love those guys. They actually used one of my jokes on their last week's weekly one-liners. So follow them on Instagram. You can see that, as well as all the other awesome jokes that have been submitted. And I got paid $5 for that, so that's fucking awesome. So comics, if you're looking for $5, write a one-liner, baby. Uh, this week's guest is a very interesting cat. He's kind of a local legend around Durango. He goes by the name of Tree Net Willie. Um, if you've ever come across a tree net in the middle of nowhere, he might have been the reason it was there. So uh, everybody loves tree net Willie. Before the podcast, he actually invited me and Dave over to his house to see his personal tree net and what he's been working on in the quarantine. And it is a six story tree net and it is fucking awesome. We had so much fun jumping around. We're going to post a video. Also, we got a new song from Trip. It's my favorite song he's ever done, and I'm so fucking excited. And that's by Ethan Esparza and the Chava people. Ethan Esparza is trip. Yeah, but finally, we got this new song, and I'm excited to bang play it. <laughs> and we're going to do a we're gonna do a walkthrough video of Willie's Tree Net with that new song, which I'm super excited about, but it might not be today because it's Father's Day, and I'm going to go ride Harleys with my dad like a gentleman. So I hope you guys enjoy this episode. Happy Father's Day. Shout out to my boy Philly Cheese. It's his first Father's Day. I love that motherfucker, and I hope he's having a lovely day as well. So thanks for listening, guys. Um, enjoy this episode with Trina Willie. Everything with cream cheese, orange juice break fast. I'm out the door to get the dough, speaking to the masses. Hit the road to do a show, microphone bad. It's trip easy, easy, cheap sunglasses. Straight fashion, my third eye active. Watching backpacks, leave a show, beeping that shit. Vocally, hearing me, locally, lyrically. Know what I'm supposed to be, and I don't got no fear of me. I'm coming for your brain, homie, coming at your spirits. Step into the game. You can throw far. <laughs> <laughs> I can throw a rock 200 yards. Not a boy. Yeah. No, what the fuck <laughs> ever? <laughs> gotcha. Fuck off. Gotcha. Twat. Oh, uh, what's up? Uh, I spilled beer on my phone, but we got Trina Willie in the house. Nice. Good yeah. to be here. Cheers, boys. Salute. Huh? Huh? Cheers, guys. Just got done hanging out in Willie's backyard. Yep. <laughs> Literally hanging out. <laughs> Some trees. How high do you think that the VIP section is? I don't know. Probably like 30, 35 feet. It's, it's up there Nothing for sure. Nothing too crazy, but... Yeah, yeah, gets up there pretty high. It's a hell of a fall. I was yeah. telling Brian when we were driving from your house to here, it's so cool what you do because it's kind of like, it's like art and engineering at the same time, and that's those are two like opposites sometimes. But you figured out how to make a living. Yeah, a lot use, of, utilizing both. A lot of problem solving, you know. Yeah. So that's a part yeah. of it. It's like figuring out like the way the rope works is different because it's kind of like a liquid almost, you know? It's not like a solid, like it's solid in some ways, but it curves, you know? So it's mm. not like, you know, we're it's not malleable. making straight lines. So yeah. that's the thing is like you have to see it for all these different strings that are pulling it on it in different directions. You have to, you know, incorporate all that into the final piece, you sure. know? So you got to kind of think that stuff as you're going along, you know? But a lot of it's, it's nice working with other people too because it's kind of a weird medium to be good at you know sure. so it's kind of interesting hearing you know the engineers aspects and you know the architects the guys the slack liners you know rigging stuff up all the time it's nice getting different opinions you know and i'm sure absolutely everybody's got their own like brainchild that you totally. can put together and 
Yeah, it's fucking interesting, man. Yeah, everyone sees it differently, you know? So it's nice, like, for me, like, obviously, the name is Trinet Willies, but I try to embrace, you know, the full team, and I'm always asking guys, you know, what do you want to do here? What do you think we should do? What colors do you want to do, you know? Some guys mm-hmm. could care less. They're just, well, there, I noticed you know, that earlier. Happen, but I noticed that earlier when you were talking about your company, you kept on saying we instead of I, and I actually took note of yeah. that because I was like, this is a humble dude. Yeah. That's cool, man, and that's probably what accounts for a lot of your success. Totally. Is being willing to work with people. And I feel like most people don't even know what you look like. Yeah, Dude, I, I thought you were going to be I, I thought you were going to be like 55, long gray beard, gray hair with like a hat. Yep. Like a Hanging safari out in trees hat forever. <laughs> yeah, yeah, dude, I thought that was what I was going to see. Some old redwood. Give hair. it 20 yeah. years. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We're How going old are way. you by the way? I'm 28. 28. So, yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah. Young book. And you've been doing this so since you were young then. Since you said 2016? Yeah, like 15 or 16, yeah. So wow. Is that is so that when fo- you were in California and you saw the redwoods? And so yeah, I'm kind of like I'm kind of foggy on the exact moment like on when I got net. into it. Yeah, because I was in the backyard rigging up hammocks and stuff in the trees, like way up there, you know. Uh-huh. So it was like I'd heard of the idea from before going out to California, but I was my junior year of high school and I was checking out schools. So like my dad's like, you know, let's go out to Cali. We'll go check out Hippie Pete and go check out Santa Cruz and you know cool. see the family and go say what's up. So that was when Pete was like, yo, you need to, you know come check these come things to the out woods in person there. come yeah. see these things you know so he had this massive one off like his third story apartment and you know had all these lights and blankets and shit on there and i was like dude sure. this is the coolest thing i've ever seen in my yeah. life like hooked. so his passion just he transferred it to you yeah well for him i mean they were just making them as smoke spots you know kind of on campus right where he the guys would hang out it wasn't hot. a business it wasn't any they were just hanging out with the boys that's you know? cool yeah so it was cool kind of bringing it back to durango and doing this stuff around town and i wasn't you know getting my hands on these huge redwood trees like all the rest of these guys were so sure. it's like how can i working with pinion and shit get creative yeah these junipers and yeah. these little tiny things you uh-huh. know so it's like how can i get creative and still you know bring this to the next level without throwing them 200 feet high you know right like we were saying it's like that's a cool like why those space nets blew up is because it was so fucking extreme when those guys were setting those things up you know right. you had to be a slack liner you know high line out there and base jump out of the bottom of them and it was like dude oh, this is so no next way. level you yeah know? Like, this is, no one's even seen anything like that you know? yours are great because it's like you can see the potential of that possibility if you want but it's it's family friendly yeah, if you yeah. will you know it's like dave friendly it's yeah dave friendly i can't slack line those guys like no, skipped a lot of steps you know sketchy andy like he kind of just went all the way to like how how fucking crazy can we take this thing you know uh-huh. and just kind of took it as far as you could you know right. and so for me it's like i'm almost coming back and like filling in all the gaps in between right oh we're doing festivals oh we're doing backyard stuff oh we're doing you know public grants for all this stuff you know but it's like i can kind of tap into all these markets that we're kind of you know, blown over by the whole slackline community, you know? So for me, it's a huge advantage when I can throw the videos around of these things. Be like, this is what I'm doing for people's backyards, you know? Uh-huh. I can build this amusement park. I can build this festival, you know, glowing piece and put it in your backyard. Right. So it's like putting all these things together kind of came pretty fast once he already had, you know, the crazy extreme, you know, I can put any big fat Texas butt in one of these things and that's yeah. kind of my angle, you know? <laughs> That's, that's, that's a great that's, angle. That's a good, that's a good measurement, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. So when it came to like the knots and shit, did you just take note when you were like up in there, you know, that first big one in the redwoods, like were you just kind of like taking note of the knots and yeah. trying to replicate it or did you have like a mentor or? Yeah. So hippie Pete gave me the, the one Oh one basically mm-hmm. he sh- sent me the YouTube videos, you know, here's the clove hitch. Here's the couple things you're going to need to know how to do. And, you know, it's funny watching like these space net videos that are on YouTube now because it's I don't really do like instructionals or one oh ones, you know, doing my whole business side. I'm not really into but that. But you stuff. do build your own nets, right? I used to. I don't oh. do that much anymore. I was having a problem with like the German slackline team and stuff trying to buy this stuff and do the exact same thing. And right. it was like, all right, guys, like, you know. And they'll just steal your shit. Yeah, yeah exactly. I don't give they a don't fuck. care. Yeah. 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 I was like, I don't Might mind. as well sell it to the Chinese. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, dude. So it was like, I don't know. I might as well you know kind of turn this into more of an art form and turn it into more of an individualistic thing you know so yeah it's like if you got questions i'll help you out but when people hit me up they're like how do you do this tell me the steps it's like dude i'm not giving you a that's, 101 that's, on this that's, shit you know well you that's, giving, to take away, over that's my giving away the secret recipe exactly, right there dude. man you know I've, I've whipped something up that none of these guys have been able to do so far and so like, would I'd you be say, an idiot giving that all away you do know? you have any so, trademarks on knots or like techniques i've, I've looked into patents, patents and yeah, stuff like that that's what I was looking but there's too many things you can kind of vary in between you know so 
you can change up one knot and you're technically good to go. So right. it's like you spend, you know, two grand, 10K, whatever, on getting all this stuff figured out. So does like uh-huh. the next student come along and change, Let you your know, work speak for itself. One th- yep, totally. So that's the whole thing is like, you know, I'm making artwork now. I'm not doing mm-hmm. just like a standardized product, you know. But building these huge centerpieces, like I was saying, you know, bringing black lights and doing all the festival stuff and kind of bringing those into people's backyards was like huge angle that no one had really done before, you know? So right. you're the first one to kind of start a business out of this thing. Is that right? Or, yeah, so or other than those Moab guys? Yeah. Yeah. So actually there's this guy, Andrew Castle. That's like one of my big idols that I've looked up to for a long time, but uh-huh. he was probably the first guy I ever knew that had a legitimate tree net business, but he's one of the old school guys that like taught Sketchy Andy and stuff how to do those. So he's like Who's old Sketchy school. Andy? Sketchy Andy's the dude that makes those nets over the canyons. Oh, the Moab monkey Moab. nets. Yep, yep. He's that? kind of the brainchild of that whole wow. thing. Wow, that's pretty crazy. So, yeah, no. I got to see video footage of yeah, that. Yeah, I was unaware nuts. of all that shit till I met you, and we had yeah. that last conversation, and I was like editing it and like just following people. Yeah. And, just, <laughs> and then yeah, you just get down a rabbit hole on Instagram once you start following people, and then yeah, they're like, yeah. maybe you'll like this shit. <laughs> And yeah. everything's more crazy than the next. Well, there's yeah. a lot of people into that stuff, you know? So mm. it's funny, like, I get hit up by all these slackliners and all these arborists and all these guys that are, you know, good with ropes, and they ask me all these specific questions. It's like, dude, I'm kind of, like, the best amateur out there, you know? I don't come from <laughs> yeah. these backgrounds of, yeah. like, you know, doing all this stuff. Like, I try not to overthink You're it. You're not you a know, climber or a slack climber or anything? I mean, or, I, I used to climb line. back in the day, but it was like, you know, I didn't come from the slackline community, which is what a lot of these other guys are right. coming from, right. you know? So it's funny when I meet these guys nowadays and like, oh, how long have you been slacklining? You're like, you know, how do you rig your highline up? It's like, dude, that's not what I'm doing, man. Yeah. Like, I'm not from that background. Like climbing yeah. the tree. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You're yeah. painting. Yeah. You're painting, and your uh, your medium is nature. Yeah, like totally. it's just art Canvas. for you. Yeah. Canvas. That's the word yeah. I was missing. Yeah, uh, yeah. That's pretty. In- I mean, because that's what it looked like too when we walked up to your net. It looked like a fucking just three-dimensional painting yeah. it was so, like because all the different colors and different designs of the ropes like i mean i was climbing up like halfway before i realized holy shit each like section has different patterns and shit yeah, yeah. and it's it's really intricate too yeah. you know it's it's straight up art but it's also functional yeah. it's interactive it's, you know that's yeah. the fun part is being yeah. able to so like cool. you know run your hands through it and while you're sitting there you're like dude this is wild like i'm literally suspended you can see through it too you mm-hmm. know right. which is wild to a lot you of can people drop your keys through it. you can drop your that, keys through yeah it. <laughs> dude and it was interesting too because like i'm not a fan of heights like I, i'm pretty bad with heights but like i still felt relatively comfortable up there like knowing it was secure especially after seeing you jump from like one level <laughs> down to the next one i was like holy shit this is very sturdy yeah yeah but it was just yeah it was interesting man it's a weird it's good for everybody yeah. man yeah yeah, yeah. it's kind of like a trampoline-esque kind of has like you know that bounce sure. to it but it definitely has like a little bit of a give to it you know like i say uh-huh. it's kind of like being drunk without being drunk that's you know? right that's how it you, felt walking you have up a few beers it's impossible to walk especially around. when that wind was blowing i was trying to get to that all the top. trees are moving yeah it's like <laughs> I was like, oh, I felt drunk for a second, yeah, dude. It's yeah, like, dude. Yeah, totally. Definitely. It's so cool. It's funny. You know, yeah. even being on, like, the festivals are some of the best parts for me, just watching kids, you know, their faces when they walk by, because they're, they're not really sure what they're looking at, you know? And there'll sure. be, like, 20 people, you know, 15 people suspended off the ground in this thing, and they're like, <laughs> they're what, like, what the, the hell fuck is going on? on? And yeah, then I know? bet there's a moment where they're like, <gasps> yeah, they get on it. They're like, this <laughs> yeah. is amazing, yeah. you know? Yeah. But it's just like sensory overload almost, you yeah. know? They just don't even know what's happening. So, at festivals, do you like put up a net and then charge people admission to get on? So How the, does it the work? Festivals pay me. To oh, okay, do it. okay. So, like I was saying, you know, Sonic Bloom paid me just kind of that one time fee to build them that net that was going to last them four or five years. Uh-huh. But it's cool because I can get my tickets for that stuff every year, you mm-hmm. know? So, it's kind of like this, you know, long term relationship that kind of benefits us both where i can build you these installations that'll last you a long time that you don't have to spend year after year after year and every know? year they let you in and you go and check the nets yeah yeah and i bring other fun phrase. shit too i've been working yeah. on too you know the stuff dome. like the dome and whatever else yeah. you yeah. know so it's kind of you know my in for the long-term plans for these guys That's and awesome then get to bring my other fun stuff yeah along, then hopefully so. Bigger and bigger festivals. Totally. Yeah, imagine is the plan, right? Yeah. So it was actually funny. Like, we started off, we're like, all right, we're going to hit up, like, you know, 50 festivals or whatever. We're going to do all these things we can. And then we started getting into, like, Electric Forest and Envision and all these really big, big dogs. names. Uh-huh. And I was like, all right, shit, we just need to, you know, start stop doing all these little dogs. And just yeah, start good the for you, ones, man. You know? That's, that's stepping As long as you're so. hitting all the regions, you know, or, totally. you know, or the states or wherever, as long as you're hitting yeah. the big ones. But it's huge for me when I go to Electric Forest and I got people waiting in line to sit in this stuff. And mm-hmm. it's like, you know, there's 60,000 people that go to Electric Force. Does that make it's you like, feel really get, good? If I get it's 1% of them to sit their asses in there, I'm doing well, you know? Yeah, and they're so. going to tell their friends. and Totally, yeah. 
fans. So yeah, does so your cool. Instagram just blow up after those things? It, it hits in little little phases, right. you know. But a lot of the festivals aren't like super into advertising for like individual stuff like that. Well, just word of mouth. Funny. Yep. You know, and yeah. nobody has their phone. Everybody's on drugs. Yeah. So the the percentage <laughs> that actually remembers all the way home what your name is, they're like, Trina, fucking. Yeah. I don't know. It's got a nice ring to it, man. It's Trina easy, Willie, to, easy, easy to, to remember, remember yeah. I think, dude. Yeah. yeah. Perfect company name. It is just, I was telling Brian on the way here, like, that's like if we went by comedian Brian, you know, <laughs> it's like, it's like what you do in your name. <laughs> yeah. And that's yep. how unique you are is that in, in, in the business aspect of it, that there's nobody else yeah. that you can actually name your company. Yeah, there's a lot of comedian Brian. What, yeah, you, what cool. you do <laughs> as your profession in your first name. And yeah, yeah. yeah, that's, that's pretty badass, dude. Yeah. It's funny. And yeah, it does have a nice ring to it, man. It just yeah. like flows. Walk around festivals. People are like, What's up, Trina? I don't even know who this guy is. Man. You know, people, people see me around, and you know they just love you. Huh? You go to all the festivals, and it's like everyone goes there to hang out, kind of in between whatever they're doing too. You know, so it's like whether you're working on sets all day and you need a place to kick back, the, the Trina through there. Whether you're you right. know enjoying the festival itself, you're going around, you know. But it's like I got these things kind of littered everywhere. Yeah. So they're just you got little staff hot spots members. And, you got yeah. We go walk attending. around and we yeah. interact and we you know talk about them. And it's like uh-huh. that's how I saw a lot of that stuff. You know. Wow. Is, okay. You know, some kids and a lot like, of people dude. don't like I said, like your Instagram, you rarely post your face. Like when I'm like, yeah. it's this guy, I got to like go through <laughs> shit. And yeah, I'm yeah. like, I have to point at you because you're never alone in a picture. You know, it's always one of your homies or yeah, yeah. or you're with a group of people. But it's fucking genius yeah. because if everybody knew what you look like in Durango and I mean, we have some listeners in Durango and shit, yeah, but yeah. not a lot. Yeah. But you would get like mobbed in bars and shit. Yeah, yeah. Like, well, how f- hard is it to get laid at festivals? It's got to be <laughs> fucking I think it's the that easiest hard in thing general, in the world. But yeah. yeah, you know what? That might be the easiest place yeah. to fuck ever. Yeah, yeah. It, probably, it probably is. Yeah. No, yeah. People tell me, oh yeah, I hooked up with this girl on your net. Thank you so much. It's like, dude, don't be telling me that shit. Yeah, dude. Yeah, I, I gotta go wash on my net. Yeah. 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 How do you yeah. wash a net? Yeah. yeah. Don't be telling me. I uh, just bathtub or a big old bucket of water, man. Right. Just, you know, a little soap. Damn. In there. Old school. They, they come out like pink though. It's weird. It's like this weird wok juice that's been building up over uh, the years. That's so, not good. Uh, yeah, gotta wash them a couple oh, times. They're man. a little gross. But. <laughs> yeah, that's what you yeah. should video. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, behind the scenes, yeah. right. oh, everything shit. left after <laughs> yeah. a festival. Yeah, gross. Yeah, dude, you could but. totally just have like, I, and I know this is extra work, and maybe it's not even something you're interested in, but just like a YouTube channel of. The setup and yep, fucking yep. the middle of the festival and the tear down and the fucking yeah. the trophy washerman or whatever. Yeah, yep, doing yep. doing all that without revealing like your secrets, like the yeah. way you do it. And then I mean he's right, like you could actually make side income from that. Yeah. If you get enough hits and I mean and even better just more business people will find out who you are yeah well part of it's kind of like two parts almost and the first part of it was like i never really did this stuff for advertising you know Uh i was i was in the woods hanging out just you were just doing it for what i wanted to do and hang out you know i used to enjoy this with my boys you know that's great man and and now it's like all right shoot i gotta you know 180 this thing i gotta start selling it i gotta start advertising you gotta make money somehow and it's like i got the name but it's like the second part of it too is it's like you know i got this whole thing behind me it's not just me it's not just you know my face it's it's my art it's everything i'm doing behind it you know so it's like that's the second part of it is like i like not just walking around like yes, I'm Trinet Willie, yeah, you know. Yeah. But it's like I don't know. If you've seen my stuff and you're you're familiar with what I do, you know, you get it. But yeah. it's like I don't walk around like a celebrity. I don't. You no, know, that, would be, that, all, that, you that would be that. That would be kind of douchey yeah. if you did. To be yeah. well, obviously like, you don't, or you'd be in every yeah, Instagram yeah, yeah. post. That's the point I'm making. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, but it's like you know, you see, like right. you go to some people's pages and it's just all all about them and their faces and you know all their personal stuff. And it's like I don't know. For me, it's like I've just kind of transformed everything that i am and i do is just kind of in my work you know and it's like it's i don't an art need page that's yeah but just stuff in my man, face everywhere great. i don't know that's just yeah no not that's what good. i'm into <laughs> like i said i think that humility is probably accounts for a lot of your success so i was gonna ask you uh you got uh were you saying earlier you have a team out and working in california right now in hollywood or do you have like teams dispersed or do you just have like one or two that go and do certain projects yeah so i kind of have the festivals was kind of my in with a lot of that stuff. So I meet a lot of guys there that want to partake in this stuff. Uh-huh. And for me, it's, you know, it's a similar community. When you're doing the festival stuff, that stuff kind of kicks your ass a right. lot of the time. Especially when you're setting up and taking mm-hmm. down. You're there for a week, you know? It's not like you show up for the festival and you're, there and you're for out a of there. job. Yeah, yeah you're right. working, you know? So it's like it's a little more of a toll. So uh-huh. you, you kind of got to get these guys that are used to, you know, 
partying hardy for six days in a row and working and working yeah. and can have all their shit together you know? right but it's kind of a certain interest culture that you kind of got to get used to uh -huh. for me when i started it was like god i felt like such an old man dude i'd you know i'd spend ten thousand dollars to sleep in my bed at night you know right yeah <laughs> but it was yeah. like you know after a while you kind of get used to it but it's like you kind of right. you, you you find those people that are good at that stuff that do that stuff a lot and those are the guys that i kind of recruit to help me out with a lot of the festival stuff it's like okay. dude if you're going anyway fucking take my stuff with how you. many I'll employees pay for your tickets, do you have you know whatever i'll hook you up so i have california i have these guys elevated weaving that have kind of taken over but there were a couple college kids that were kind of getting their stuff you know from the net community from me and so i was just like dude why don't you guys just work for me and instead of you know doing multiple businesses just take up what i'm doing i got projects for you so oh. i just feed them a bunch of projects now i take a little cut but I feed them all the new stuff I'm working on, and we always chat about, you know, new patterns and shit that we're working on. But we kind of have the frontier of stuff that's coming out because right. I have these different groups of guys that we're kind of chatting with. But, right. you know, I got these guys that are doing this stuff full time now, doing quotes, doing site visits, running around and doing this stuff. They just graduated. That's so so they hit cool, it at the perfect man. fucking time. Do you have people in but, other states as well? Yeah. So I got kind of two teams in Cali right now. I got a northern one and a southern one. And then I got kind of a group in – uh kind of the east coast that we've been working on too over there oh sweet i got a costa rican team as of recently nice. so i got some dudes down there that have been trying to do the same are thing are they the best or oh by far dude <laughs> for sure dude yeah. <laughs> little little english yeah. no talking back they're great the workers yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. and as but, long as you pay them fairly yeah. nobody gives a fuck that you I mean, said that that's the thing <laughs> it's straight up dude no it's like i'm hooking them up man i yeah. mean we're making good money doing this stuff too you good know? So, bro like i was saying we got a project for forty thousand dollars over in california is it a private it's like yeah it's a a private yeah it's for like a glamping place you know so type thing, but oh yeah 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 what i mean if it's too personal don't answer but what's the cut out of that if, 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 they, if they're paying forty thousand, how much goes to the company so yeah typically i take only like a 15 percent but for this one, I'm just breaking it up with the homies because we're making so much. Are you guys all working on it together? Yep, Are you going to yep. go work with? So we just broke it up kind of daily rate, you know, 350 bucks is what I did for a daily rate, you know, uh -huh, so that's it's great. just work all there. So, yeah, I mean, we're still getting still you know, good 40, money. 50 bucks an hour, yeah, which good, is awesome. Good, man. That's Hanging great. out the whole time, you know, we literally just smoke weed, drink beers, you know, talk nets. Does that 40,000 that for does that 40, cover like the actual so a lot like of pair, it's, yeah, yeah materials material. is i think like eight or ten grand so for, that's for that's, that big of a project that's part of it yeah. yeah so we're tripling everything up we're making everything like way bomber you know so this guy andrew castle is somebody that i'm linking up with because that's his whole specialty is like the rigging aspect of it it's just making that thing is that forty thousand dollar project in hollywood so that one's in idlewild which I've never Where's been that? there, but I think it's the like California? it's outside of L.A., San Diego mm. type thing. It's in the hills over there, but I think oh. it's like a private community type so thing. So whose but. insurance covers this? <laughs> so, Do you have good insurance? Good question, yeah. So the, when I'm doing this mm. for these guys, we're kind of in like a gray area for a lot of this. Uh -huh. So like I was saying, with the tree houses, we don't really abide by any stuff like that. As far as doing workman's you know, comp and stuff like that, we basically we're in the process of getting full time employees kind of all figured out, but right now they're all just kind of independent contractors. So we have them sign something, and they're making leaves. independent contractor money. It sounds yep, like, yeah. So yeah, yeah, they're doing pretty well. Yeah. I mean, yeah. you know, I got fifteen Shit, you dudes at every one of these fests that are like, yeah, dude, yeah, I can tie not real <laughs> I was, good. I was <laughs> thinking yeah. the same thing, bro. <laughs> so, yeah, we can do comedy at festivals. Uh, yeah, just yeah. a tent in the back. I don't give a fuck, <laughs> yeah, right. dude. I'll learn how to yeah. tie a knot, dude. Like yeah. a motherfucker. But it's funny, you know. I got some guys that just show up and yeah, they just do comedy all day. I got a buddy Troy, man. He just, you know. He burns knots, does comedy all day, you know? Yeah. Makes, huh. makes hundred bucks, a couple hundred bucks a day just hanging out. It's just right. like, God, too easy, you know? Yeah. But, you know, it's a good job. Honestly, it's it's cool right now at this time, especially with all the COVID and shit going on mm -hmm. with everybody kind of struggling, you know? Mm -hmm. It's nice having places for, like, all the homies and, you know, people that need a hand. It's like, dude, come work for me. I'll put your ass to work for a couple of days and that's, help you out a little bit. It's the you best. Know? Yeah. That's so cool. So, yeah, that's great, man. Especially being You're over in, in Bali, you yeah. know, it was funny. Like those dudes didn't speak a word of English. I was over there for eight days and it was like, you once, were in Bali? once I did that. Yeah. Yeah. For like, basically for models yeah. to take photos on. Yeah. Did you try any, uh, Kratom or Kratom? Uh, it's no. very prominent there. Okay. I don't know if you've ever heard of it. It's from Bali, partially. No, I asked if weed was legal and they're like, oh no, go to jail for life. And yeah. I was like, okay, that's the oh, last no, time I'm going to bring that up. They don't play with that. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> but no, okay. No, Just yeah, curious. I didn't. Honestly, I was working the whole time. Oh, well, so oh, you're was putting like, up nets over there? Yeah, yeah. No, that's we did. You, that's where you were when you said you were out of town for forty days. No, that was nah. that was this. I did Bali last July. Oh, so okay. I was up in Breckenridge and stuff, and recently doing that, doing nets. But and stuff yeah, up I was there? I was in Bali last summer when I did that. Oh, was it brutally uh, hot, dude? It wasn't too bad. It was. Everyone warned me. I was like, you're like, you're gonna die out there. It's, it's too hot, yeah. you know. But no, it wasn't too bad. We, they were actually kind of by this big volcano, which was cool. So they have kind of their own weather with all the clouds and stuff that kind of builds up there around the, high, the, mountain. the high mountain. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So it was kind of nice. You know, they didn't have bugs, really. You know, they didn't have Did you see any AC. crazy animals? They didn't have anything. Uh, let's see. Sna- big snakes. I don't know. Monkeys, nothing too crazy, man. Elephant. Honestly, I was busting ass the whole time. And I was if you're there. working under like trees, around, you know, you're like in yeah. the shadiest place. Well, I was in like the nicest Airbnb, like one of the nicest oh, ones on the whole place. So I think what it was, was like the just, elevation at. I don't know. Low. No. Oh, it was low elevation. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, I, it's an I, island, you know, so it's not. Right. It's not yeah, that's that true. So way different. But yeah. It was cool, man. Yeah, I just went over there and got a bunch of locals that didn't speak any English. They were just these day laborers. So it was like, all right. Were bud. you by yourself or just? Yeah, just myself. And you just myself. showed yeah. them some techniques. Yeah. yeah. So I showed the first guy. I was like, here's here's how we're doing it. You know, didn't even say a word. I just showed him. But it was so funny, you know, handing off the rope to those guys. Be like, all right, don't fuck it up, you know. Yeah. You, you can't even say that. They don't understand that. Yeah. So they, they saw just, it in your eyes, going, bro. You know, I'm just watching these guys. That was a joke. Come back, come so back. How, if you yeah. fuck it up, come back, you know. But I'm curious as to how you get a gig like that. Like, do you have like an agent? Of so it was some just sort? social media, really. Really? And I was just doing those nets, and yeah, they ended up hitting me up. They're like, yo, we're looking for, you know, <laughs> obviously the the hammocks are our main angle when we're doing this advertising for the Airbnb. You know, uh-huh. people hit us up for these hammocks and. They wanted to, you know, take it next level. So, so like, somebody hit you up from Bali. Yeah. Even though, they, I mean, and then they, they just messaged you and said, we'll pay for you to come stay. Yeah, yeah. They, they paid for they, everything. I didn't spend fl- a penny the whole time. Really? Yeah. Wow, they were really into your art, dude. Yeah, That's yeah. badass. Well, it was just a big advertiser for me, and it was like, I think, That's you know, huge. they paid me a couple grand and paid for everything. So Did like, you I made uh, money get going video footage there, of it? Yeah, well, I'm just sitting on media gold because it's just yeah. all these Instagram people that the, do that stuff every day. That's right. Yeah. So it was really wild making nets, like because my background, right, is you know hidden. You know, we don't we don't yeah. talk about it. You know, nobody tell anybody. This is for me and the boys. You know. Yeah. And so now it's like, oh, this is where the the model will will sit. And you know, Coco, get that tree out of the way. That's in the way of the photo. You know, and the little <laughs> people, you know, oh, the photographer will stand here. And it's like, dude, this is so 180 from how I used to. And they're just do Instagram stuff. gurus. Yeah, oh, that's, that's all, all they, they do. do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's wild to have this, you know, check in, which is you know, two o'clock, and check out from the other guy, which is 10, 10 a.m. You know, so you have a certain you know four hour gap where you got to go in there, crank these nets out, and get out before right. the next guy show in. That makes sense. So we're like all prepared, you know, waiting. Oh, we'll take you on a little tour of the waterfalls. Give these guys, you know, give us a couple hours to crank this shit out. <laughs> yeah. But it was wild, like you know, having to go in there and it was just go, 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 go to crank these things out. Time you limits. know, wow. while before and, the other people. And came they were in. mostly hammocks. Yeah, they were so all they're just prob- yeah one day one hammock. Or? So yeah, we did what was it like eight? No, no, we did six hammocks in eight days. Wow. So, I mean, that's, we were... That's efficient. We were cranking them out, <laughs> Yeah. Though. But it was wild. Like, those guys, like I was saying, they didn't speak any English. So, I'd hand them the P-cord, and I'd show them the knot. But I'd turn around, and they're, like, pinching it between their toes, and they're, like, winding it up between their hands, and, like, pulling it Did from they the master center, it? And doing all this stuff. And it was, like damn dude you guys get string way better than i do you yeah know? but it was like you know generations of basket weavers or some shit you know fishermen right. where these guys just get that stuff but being day laborers you know it's like oh we're not pouring concrete today we're not doing this shit like oh, here here's your string. The yeah we're gonna yeah. hang out this nice yeah. airbnb and weave hammocks oh, and their fingers like, are tough already they're like dude this is perfect <laughs> you know those guys loved it man but cool man there was a couple guys there it was like dude i need to bring you back to america and weave full time because they were they just get it you right. know yeah. but it was Forming. like here up the mountain down the mountain you know i do it one time Never have to say it again, dude. They're right. going back fixing knots, doing all this stuff. It was yeah, like, those dude, are the guys yeah. you use to teach everybody. Totally, yeah. man. But it was like, this dude doesn't speak a word of English, you know? Right. But it was like, God, I need 15 of you to bring <laughs> back here because yeah, I dude. could just take over with you guys. That's how you slavery know? started. Yeah, yeah, that's totally. what yeah, I guess, yeah. yeah it's a perspective. It's, like, yeah. it's like, God, man. You guys but he's paying job. them well. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Nobody cares as you know. long as you're paying them more. All right. Yeah. Bring them on. Give them 50 bucks an hour and blow their minds, Yeah, it would, dude. It changed their lives. Pussy but and cocaine. They have <laughs> iPhones and gold chains. Yeah. Same thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All crazy. Of man, it's badass. Well, what else do you like to do? Anything? Oh, man. A lot of nets, dude. Full time, to be <laughs> honest. Like, since I started doing this shit, it's like last few months, it's just full time, dude. I, I, I work it. all day. I get out of the tree. I do emails until 
pass out, dude. But. Yeah. And your recreation is mostly hiking and shit, right? Like, yeah. That's what you did. Yeah, yeah. That's why this started. Just go walk around, yeah. you know? Yeah. You know, if I ever get free time, I just go make them in the woods. You did know? you ever make so. accidentally or on purpose like a net on private property and have an issue? So I've had one recently actually up in Telluride where it was a big issue. Where I think it was up by like a mining claim, but I threw it up over the fairgrounds overlooking the whole, you know, festival grounds down there yeah. where they do all the festivals. For a job? No, this uh, was just in the woods. Yeah. Yeah. Just, yeah, but I threw it way the hell up there. Me and the boys hiked all the way up there, and we put this thing up and put a little jar up there. You know, blah blah blah. This is Tree Night Willie's secret hangout. You know, <laughs> we get back up there. It's like this is private property. They just you know? googled it. Knife yeah. through the center of it, through the backrest. It was like, damn, yeah. All right, I guess we'll take that one. Damn. Down. But I think it was just some mine claim that they had up there because there was a bunch of old buildings up there. Uh, I think on that hillside, it's not. Yeah, like, no one's see. living up there. It's fucking right. steep as shit. But, but somebody see, owns see, it. I can't see somebody getting upset about walking out and seeing. Dude, I know that's what we were saying. Wouldn't you like, be pumped if you had stoked. an overview of the whole whole town and festival yeah, grounds? Yeah, like, I can't. I can't think of any reason why that would make anybody <laughs> well if bad, somebody dude. was on your property daily or something that would be annoying all the random people that yeah, well and too, like yeah. like you've said in the past yeah, when you throw one up on public property like litter starts to build up and shit yeah, like that totally. like that's the concern oh, that, yeah. that yeah i see that and one person hikes up there finds it they tell somebody else and then well, social media is like yeah the worst and best thing that's ever happened to me you know it's totally like, it just takes one gps point and that thing's ruined <laughs> Yeah, true. Yeah, you the next one. You, you know? said you've cut them down because of litter and shit, right? Totally. Yeah, and the one up at the fort was kind of an issue for a long time. They, that makes sense. Somebody took that one down at some point. Where was that on the disc golf course? So it was like a, kind of in between, like the Lions Den and the police station over there, kind yeah. of by the Hillcrest Golf Course. That makes sense. Okay, so just a little pull off up there. It was just oh, right okay. on the road up there. Somebody but... had told me that. Um, they thought there was a net up there on the disc golf course, but yeah, it must no, have been I've, down the road. I've looked at the disc, disc golf course a few times. I didn't find it. There's some there. high trees. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Well, and you said you had some copycats around, right? Yeah, there's a few people that are yeah, doing but, the same thing. But Oh, that's scary because I wouldn't trust anybody else's, dude. Yeah. Well, I got a buddy Casey. Dave like, didn't trust you until you jumped out yeah. of the top. <laughs> 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 until I walked up it, too. Yeah. Yeah, but, yeah, but that made me feel better when he jumped from the top. For, for sure. sure. Yeah, totally. That was awesome. That thing's gotten some, some wear. Oh, well, dude, so. yeah, I just get nervous. <laughs> well, you see string, it's only like, you know, the size of your finger. You're like, dude, that's no way that thing's going to hold me. Dude, you but know? it's so. so cool. When I stepped on it, I was like, oh, that's smaller than I remember. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like something in my mind had a thicker string, you know? Yeah, but yeah. It's... But it, it really is like a trampoline, too, man. I mean, like, it's so taut. Dude, you, I, I, I jumped from the second level back up to the third when we were trying yeah. to race at the top yeah of the you end. bounced up yeah. yeah i bounced up like that's how much spring there was i know i, was I like, saw that and i was fucking... a little jealous i was like i should have tried that, <laughs> that <was> awesome. <laughs> when i was laying on the top all i was thinking about was if i just rolled off like what's that feel like you know yeah yeah dude you just get caught by a nip below you yeah one series to the next yeah level to level yeah so, it's, it's so fun with all that strength comes a little bit of rigidity <laughs> when you're falling uh-huh. My back is gonna have a net print on it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like it's a little <laughs> tender in places. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's soft, but it's hard too. Yeah, yeah I got a couple cuts, but I felt like but nine it was feet, worth it. so that seems fair. Yeah, nothing awesome is free. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> dude, it's badass. So I can't believe it. All right, well, I guess this point. Let's talk about it on the podcast because nobody else can see, but. That sixth level that you're gonna do. We're gonna post a video. Okay. Okay. Yeah, we should because that sixth. Where you're gonna put that sixth level? Like, I can't wait to see that when it's done because, like, just seeing it right now with all the branches and I see where you're going with it. Yeah, but I'm yeah. like, that seems like a challenge. It's getting kinda. up there. That's yeah. when you meet a hot well, girl you, at the party. You, you got to filter that's, them out a little bit. Right? And then that's gonna be like what a couple foot net on each side or yeah yeah so typically i throw backrests on there or something you uh-huh. know some sort of retaining wall but yeah because it's like for the listeners it's like fucking what 45 50 feet up there Would yeah you say that that's, that's that probably 40 at least yeah 40 that last level yeah and you're just tying rope around trees right you're not yeah. drilling into trees no nope. yeah that's so the <laughs> cool thing that's yeah, like you're environmentally yeah you're hippie approved like damn right absolutely yeah. Are, yeah so typically when i'm doing those two i'll throw little blocks in there in between the rope and the tree mm-hmm. and then i've been taking tubular webbing and i'll actually throw that around the rope too so it has like you know in theory the rope never actually touches the tree same with the p cord when i'm making those so things, it won't be you know, rubbing nothing's touching the tree it's all just connected with blocks and then that webbing that kind of connects them oh too. yeah and tree oh, knows that's blocks awesome, dude yeah, yeah. That is so, so environmentally friendly, dude. It's just, yeah. 
Well, it's one of the angles too. Is like you know, I can take these things down in five or ten years, and no one even you know. Well, even no, they, they were, were there. Ever there. Yeah. yeah, there's not rope burned. It's not growing around the rope. Exactly. Shit like that. Yeah. yeah, it's not halting the the. It's not stunting the growth exactly. of the tree. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Well, girdling is what it's called when you like kind of choke it all the way around. Oh, okay. But that's that's the issue. You know, just like growing weed. You know, you can strip half that thing off the side. That sucker will live. You know, you, mm-hmm. you choke that thing around the base. Done for. You that's know? true. Yeah. So a lot of those trees are pretty resilient, and they they take a lot of stuff. You know being outside those things get their asses kicked but you know they do pretty well that makes especially them those strong pines, you know makes yeah. them strong but you do want to be careful especially when you're doing stuff like that it's like you know they're not short-term things I and mean, yeah. some of these last up to a decade or more so it's like you try to do as best as you can to make them last and you know not make them hurt everything around them too mm-hmm. you know our big angle is that they're being put in the trees you know they're they're being you know built within them as opposed to being placed in them you right know? a lot of like tree houses are kind of obtrusive to that type of thing you sure, know but it's like yeah. this is really just built within whatever the tree gives us you well know? most so. everything in trees is like bolted into the tree totally for the most yeah. part so. all the way through too you know you see some of those guys that's just, like, just totally just detrimental yeah better hope you got the hole right the first time and it's crazy because <laughs> those sure. trees aren't that wide that we were mm-hmm. just in dude like they were like i mean that maybe? yeah i mean you can get like, pretty crazy you know they were swaying too that was fun yep, yeah yeah when they yeah, were the higher you get yeah, yeah like i was saying you wake up for a nap and you're like where am i <laughs> yeah uh-huh yeah i don't know if i could sleep up there yeah i don't know maybe once you got used to it like sure. you were way more comfortable towards the end oh yeah than you yeah. were when you first got into it so well, imagine be, like because the higher i went the more my knees started shaking <laughs> and then it was already wobbly anyway yeah if you lived yeah, there yeah. for a month you would oh, be fucking i dude i yeah. i would already I'm already already. My girlfriend like, would hate it because I'd just be bouncing around all the time. Yeah, well, I'm surprised I haven't broken myself up there, just stranded one of these days. You know, it's like God, the way I jump around up there. You know, just catch an arm or toe in one of those things, man. You're like you a monkey. Yeah. You're like a fucking monkey in that thing. It's so cool to watch, dude. It's like your natural environment. Like how is, fast dude. you got down blew my mind, dude. Like I was like, what? But I bet that just evolves. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, I got shit to do, man. Yeah. Yeah. You know, <laughs> a couple steps, I'm Get out. Get a call. Dude. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. live far from town. Yeah. Bang, bang, I'm out. Yeah. 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 Dude, yeah, I used to live on that street that you live on. Yep. And yep. Uh, I've told Brian this story, but one time I was getting dropped off for work uh, at like 2.30 in the morning from a coworker. And my wife and I had it set up to where I would just like call her as I was pulling up and she would drive down and pick me up. Well, I called her and just rang four times, no answer. And then, um, so my buddy drops me off two thirty in the morning. I call her like three or four more times and nothing. So I just start walking towards the house, calling her the whole time. She ends up never picking up the phone. I walked the whole. It was like two point two miles or whatever to my house from yeah, the yeah. front. From 2.30 to, like, 4 a.m. Oh, in the pitch black in Wildcat Canyon. Like, through, walked that whole way up to the, where that white house yeah. is, dude. And it was pretty goddamn terrifying. That stuff's, to yeah. Be, like, it's kind of out there, That's, man. like, yeah. Well, I'm also, like, not from anywhere near this <laughs> environment, dude. Like, it's so, it just, it scared the shit out of me, dude. Yeah. You Dave's know, from Atlanta. You know guys like me, you're just lurking in the trees, keeping an eye on you as you're walking around <laughs> dude, the neighborhood. somebody you know? was watching me. I felt the eyes. Have you ever <laughs> seen a mountain lion in your tree net? <laughs> no. That makes uh, so much sense, What though? about a bear? Yeah. No, I don't know. I don't know. It's I guess it's hard to tell if I, you know, bear trace of unless he's shitting it or something, you know. Mm-hmm. I just want to see him lounging. Yeah, I don't know. I get they that would, question all the time. They, though. I feel yeah. like they People, would too. Like, how does this affect the animals? You know, do you get like deer's antlers getting caught up in these things all the time? <laughs> it's like not really. You know, I, I guess could, the occasional bear might check it out. But other than well, that, they're you know? visible. You know what I mean? And yeah. a, an animal is gonna see that. Well, but they're like, tight too, and it's not like a loose net yeah. where you get caught up in that shit. You know? And it's yeah, like, they could just pull right out. Yeah, but. Yeah, I've seen like people that grow weed or whatever that have trellising and mm-hmm. they grow outside and leave it laying around. Yeah, yeah, and I've, yeah. I've seen deer caught up in that shit. You know really? what I mean? And like a dolphin. It wasn't nose? my shit, but I still I went and fucking yeah. had to cut it. And I don't know if you've ever helped a deer out of a fence or anything like that. <laughs> yeah. But it. But they're not. They're grateful. not comfortable with it. They're yeah. not very grateful. <laughs> they're terrified Freak of out you. Makes things worse. Yeah, yeah, they're more comfortable in the fence. To, yeah. But, yeah, I've cut fence with baby deer's legs wrapped in it. And, like, dude, I cut an elk out of this barbed wire fence one time. Its leg was fucked up. Yeah. But the fence was fucking four feet from the road. Like, I drove right by. What am I? You just going to drive by and let it die in the fence? What what did he do? when I cut the barbed wire. I know, and then yeah, he just ran off. Tools, man. That's well, the thing. You got to be a man with tools, dude. Well, Most people just but I mean, drive the, right by. Basically, dude, a mechanic. The yeah. elk just 
the elk just ran off though yeah yeah it didn't because, want anything to do with me and yeah, i went as far away as i could, could fuck you up yeah i was probably like it it was a female it was a baby like oh. it was a young elk dude and do babies leg, have a- big antlers still no 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 antlers but i just dude it i i'm pretty sure it died that night you know what oh, i mean like man. maybe but it I came back 10 minutes later because when I first cut it out, it jumped out because the fence just like shot from the tension yeah. and it got out immediately, but its leg was torn like yeah. all the way down. Uh, you'd be surprised how tough those things are. Yeah. There, man. Like, but it just, my, I grew up in Montana. So my yeah. family's, you know, diehard hunters. So you've cut a we've, elk out we've, of a fence we've before. We've seen stuff where like, you know, those things will get their legs blown off and you see them the next year walking around on three legs mm-hmm. or whatever, you know, and it's just like, damn, damn dude. dude. Yeah. That's crazy. Those things can take it. But what know? if it bled? I mean, it couldn't have bled to death, though? Possibly. But I if mean, it was stuff that, like that like, I mean, those, barbed wire. You'd I mean, be surprised what those things could yeah, take. Really? I just know there's mountain lions up there. I've seen quite a few bears, and it was young. And who knows how far the parents are, you know, yeah, or yeah. the mama elk is. and I don't know. But it laid down right. It got out, freaked out for a second, and then just laid down. and Because it was, like, screaming and shit, yeah, too. Yeah. And then it made a couple more noises, and I was like, There's, that's all I can do. You know, if it's still here, and it looks like it's not going to make it, maybe I'll shoot it. You know, I have a gun, too. You know? <laughs> <laughs> well, shit, yeah, we grew up on roadkill, I'm pretty sure, man. My parents would just, you know, those things would get Might hit, as they just throw in the back. Make a stew. That's what we ate, man. Might as well, yeah. yeah. What well, part of Montana meat, are you from? I got a backhoe at the ranch. I could have just strung that bitch up. Yeah, damn right. Dude. Effortlessly. Yeah, we grew up. I grew up in a little town called Hamilton, which is a little south of Missoula. Missoula, okay, that's uh, where the college is, right? Yep, yep, kind of, yep, the Grizzlies. So How long kinda, did kinda you live the there? Side there? I grew up there until my junior year of high school. So and then you like went and 16, hung out with yeah, your neighbor. Got into nets, and here we are now. <laughs> yeah, so. yeah, how'd you end up I in Durango? It. You just bounced around a little bit and then found yeah, this place? Yeah, we were kind of just ready to get out of there. I think we were getting like just crushed by fires, and I had a, I have a the sister. The whole family? Yep, yep. So my dad's got bad allergies. It was just kind of the perfect storm of a lot of so things. So your whole you family know? moved to Durango? Yep, yep, oh, whole cool. family. So I got a, I got a golden golden sister that's just you know six foot one gorgeous star athlete she's got everything does everything her, right so, yep, yeah yeah so we ended up you know moving out of montana just to kind of mix it up and we were down here skiing and we're like yo this place is pretty cool you know it so is, we ended up dude. kind of you know making the move i ended up going to boulder for college so that was kind of another thing that you know just kind of all worked out yeah, you know, yeah. close enough after another so yeah yeah but it worked out good you know like i was saying that's right when i got into the net so it was kind of fun you know doing a bunch of stuff around here it's a great Durango, place to move, and, yeah. this is a great yeah. town for that oh dude. i loved it I here mean, man this place yeah. is awesome do you have they anything in the plot of canyon uh i got one up at kennebec up at the end yep nice we should go camp yeah. Well, actually, I got a I got a sweet crystal spot up there. So we go up there and find all these crystals, which we trade at festivals for whatever you want. Really? Yeah. Whatever you whatever want. Whatever you want. Dude. So yeah, we go, we go up there and just load our backpacks up and I got crystals a little, I got a plus tree nuts, bro. Yeah. It's the dude. Life, dude. Yeah. All the pussy. You, you got it. Save some pussy for the rest of us, bro. <laughs> <I'm>... <laughs> Usually that's sarcastic, but I fucking mean it. <laughs> that's so oh, funny. Shit. I'll I'll show you the loop, man. I'll get you involved. But blanket and a bottle of wine. That's all you need. I yeah, I was a festival. Per- yeah, I have a girl. Yeah, we're good. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> uh, I was a festival kid for a minute. You know, it hit me when I was, you know, 20. Well, I went to jail when I was 19. So I, I went to my first festival probably a year before that. And then, yeah, I guess jail really threw me off the path. <laughs> but I went to quite a few festivals right there. And then I I did Sonic Bloom twice after I moved here. Yeah, yeah. And it, it was in South Park. Yeah. I think it's a different place than it is now. There yeah. was no trees where we were. Yeah. It was hot as balls, dog. Yeah, that's what I hear. Just Jeez. hot and dusty, baby. <laughs> but the music was amazing. Saw Yoto there again. Yeah. Yoto, have you seen Yoto? I don't know. I don't think so. Honestly, I get a that little kind of confused. Blows my mind. I see yeah. a lot of artists. I get kind of lost right. doing all these fests now. It's that like, makes oh, sense. They kind of blend in a little bit. And you're working. And I'm working. And all their names start with X, Y, or Z, and I can't That's pronounce true. them. And it's like, I don't even know who I'm really seeing here, man. Like, you know, yeah. one thing after another. But Do you go to a lot of shows, like, in town when you're around? When I see not? these festivals, it's hard for me to kind of want to rally Just to go to, you know, individual The concerts. Animus Theater. Yeah. yeah. It's like, I don't know. I can go, to, you know, meet these guys sometimes behind the, you know. We're sitting in nets like, oh, yeah, I'm Ataya, you know. It's like, oh, yeah. didn't you play after Closey last night, you know. It's like, yeah, dude. <laughs> That's like, pretty badass. Jesus Christ, man. Like, I make the tree nets. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I'm pretty <laughs> willing. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. They haven't heard of me yet, but, you know, too funny. <laughs> But it is cool, you know, just meeting all these guys and seeing constant music, especially having kind of low expect, not necessarily low expectations, but just like you're not even really knowing what I'm getting into, you know, and I go and check these things out. And it's like, dude, this is 
freaking cool, man. Right on. Know? Yeah, every yeah. like overnight or camping festival I've been to has impressed the shit out of yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's it's cool, like you know, doing what I'm doing and just meeting a community of people that are doing the same thing too. You know, so it's just a bunch of artists that are busting ass trying to make it. You know, day by day, dollar by dollar. It's weird how you fell into that world because you you're not a festival kid. No, like, no, your not goal at all. wasn't to just no. find a way like all these food trucks or whatever, yeah, or yeah. people that are selling shit, their goal was to find a way to just go to festivals and make money, mm-hmm. you know, while being at a fucking festival. Right. But you just fell into somebody's dream. Well, it's just perfectly, <laughs> I, it's ideal for yeah. a festival. I mean, it's perfect. What, what, what that was you the do, big thing dude, at Sonic perfect. Bloom. We were in a dome and uncomfortable as shit because we were on the wet ground. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And when you're on mushrooms you just want to lean on some totally or yeah. <laughs> bounce on right, some bro. yeah but like i was saying you know we're like tapping into all these perfect little markets you know if you can add shade over them and you can you know provide dude, seating and i you see can, you dude business. you could marry a model <laughs> i'm saying <laughs> for these photo Marian shoots her, dude. <laughs> well it depends on how rich she is well you'll do fine yeah i'm not too worried about dude it. Yeah, i imagine fair. this place five this company five ten years from now being a huge thing like where it's Something like a trampoline where it is in everybody's backyard, you know? That's yeah, but totally. you or your team have to go install them. You can do, take out that. Yeah, crazy. I'm glad you took out the sell your own net with the yeah, instruction yeah. kit and shit. Well, it was yeah. one thing when I got those slackline guys hitting me up or whatever. And, you know, it's like, dude, I'll, I'll feed you yeah, a little information. they'll be fine. It's like, yeah. once you're starting to do exactly what I'm doing, I got an issue with that. You yeah. Know? So You should. <laughs> yeah. And that's why you got to, I mean, you can't, Um, what's it called, copyright it? You mm-hmm. can't. Well, it's just it's it, not, turn it into so. an art form, you know. Yeah. And it's like you can try at this point. <laughs> and that's yeah. that's what you said last time, and you were, you know, you're further along now, and you're probably way more knowledgeable. Way more. But yeah, yeah you were just like, good luck catching up. Like if you do what I do, I'm gonna do something better by then. You well, know yeah. what I mean? By the time you figure out what I'm doing, I'm yeah, already yeah. on to the next fucking well, that's thing. The thing is, like, this is my full time job. Right. I spend up all night looking at the ceiling, thinking about this shit. You know, yeah. it's like I don't do just other sing things. designs. This is what I do. Yeah. You know? I yeah. bet you have it's dreams like, about it. Oh, it's stressful. Man. Yeah. When I yeah. used to yeah. lay dude, long days of weaving, just tying knots, yeah. especially when you do the same patterns, dude. Like you close your close your eyes at night, and you're doing the exact same thing, man. Yeah. It's like, dude, I'm not really sleeping. I'm still <laughs> wired, man. You know? I used to work for this construction company, and we built like retaining walls and paver patios and shit. And you can say what you want, but there's definitely an artistic aspect to that. Totally. Because we would put like zias in the middle of them or whatever, you know what I mean? Whatever they wanted. But every time was a new challenge. And every once in a while, you'd get the basic ass just layout. Yeah, but yeah. Uh, yeah, when I became foreman and started actually laying the bricks, dude, I would get off eight and a half, nine hour day, just fucking exhausted because I was carrying bricks. All- My hands are hurt. They're yeah, all yeah. fucked up because I've smashed them a hundred times. I go to sleep and I'm <laughs> laying pavers in my sleep, like in my dreams. Totally. And then uh-huh. I wake up and I'm like, fuck. Yeah. <laughs> You're still going, I have man. to go do yeah. this again? <laughs> yeah. But once you stop having to carry the bricks to the guy laying them, work gets better. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, Once I became foreman, I was like, yeah. this isn't so bad. No, there is yeah. something about that tedious work, you know? It's yeah. like, for me now, it's like I jump around, like being the boss. It's like, all right, I'm going to do backrest now, you know? Do that. All right, I'm sick of that, you know? Yeah, right, go help this person. Here, you know? yeah, yeah. Right, all right, I'm going to do that now, sure. you know? Right. But it's like, I can just, you know, I can keep that speed a lot longer doing that, you know? I don't know. I don't mind the trimming and stuff like that, though. You know, just that long, just the same shit over and over and over again, you know, where you just sit there and you're like, all right, just looking at this nug, rotating, 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 right, right. looking at this string, you know, rotating, looping, rotating, looping, rotating, looping, rotating, <laughs> rotating, rotating, you know, yeah. it's just like, gosh, it's the same thing over and over and over again. But I don't know. Once it's, it's almost like painting, though, you know, it's just a mindless thing for me now. Sure. Like, I can look at this string and I could just go, you know, for sure. So it's so funny for me when I, you know, other people are like, where do I go next? Like, where, where does the string go? It's like, dude, it's chaos, man. Like, anywhere well, yeah. you want, you look know? at it. Like, you're overthinking it dude like yeah, just fill yeah. the gaps you yeah know? but it's like some people kind of get that mentality a little better and other people just, just cannot people. figure it out yeah you know? no doubt but it's still it's like a weird skill to be good at you know like i was saying rope dynamics is a weird fucking thing to kind of figure out but it's yeah. like if you can figure out how this thing's going to look in your head before you put it down there right. like that's a big advantage i feel like i have is just the visionary part of it you know you can right. give me six trees that go up 60 feet and i can make a multi-leveled thing in my head right. you know, but nobody else sees that you like know? a program uh-huh. so it's hard to be like All do, right. do blueprint it so i've had a hard time i need to do like sketchup or something like that you uh, know i know there's apps out there get that some do grass that paper. stuff <laughs> but honestly for me one of my biggest you know advantages when i'm doing these things is kind of winging you're it. just feeling it i've done everything wrong a million times huh. and i've figured it out what works and what doesn't you uh, know? yeah so when i'm going up these things it's like i 
let's bail on the plan. That's why I always uh, stick to abstract. Like this will be a good know? anchor it's spot. Like, right. This yeah, will be. Yeah. This, this seems is going right. Here. This yeah. is going here. Yep. You know, but you kind of figure that out as you're going. But along. you don't need to bust right. out a level like. It's totally. all on, yep. it's all in your imagination. Yep. And I imagine when you're teaching people, there's two types of people. There's the people that are like, where do I go next? And yep, there's the people yep. that are like, check this out. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like a it's, million ideas. It seems yeah. like it'll be strong enough. Yeah. You know? yeah. Well, it's, that's the part, that's the part of it too. Especially when you're at festivals, everybody's fucked up. You sit down, there's a million ideas floating around, you know, uh-huh. so it's like you kind of pick and choose the best ones. You get rid of the rest of, you know, the crazy talk, but sure. it's like, dude, I literally sit there and just talk nets with these guys <laughs> that, you know, some of them have an idea. Some of them have no idea what the hell they're talking about, right. but I get to take all that information in yeah. and kind of take with the shit I like and dump the rest of the shit that I don't like. But that's been a huge advantage too. It's just like, you know, meeting all these guys that are similar to what I'm doing, you know, for sure. Obviously I'm in my own so little cool. niche, but it's like, you know, here I'm doing wire wrapping. This is what's working and what's not working. Here I'm doing, you know, blah, blah, blah. This is what's working and what's you not working. You just pick up nuggets of wisdom but, as they come yeah, to you. Yeah, totally. And discard the rest. But everyone has, infra- has you know, advice too for but me. Too. Right. Yeah, funny, but I mean, you know, you know how to decide or uh, like sift through the totally. bullshit, yeah. right? Yeah, no, And you've probably gotten better at that the longer well, you do but it. you learn a lot. You're probably like, I've done that and it doesn't work. Or That too. You know what? I've done that before and that's a pretty good idea yeah. for this shape or whatever. Yeah. Oh, I got a question, dude. Yeah. Have you ever fallen from a tree? I've fallen out of one making It's not one, if, it's when. But I've never like I've never fallen out of a net like once I finish making it. But no, no, no but no. I mean like in the process of constructing yeah, one, have yeah, you ever yeah, fallen? Yeah. Far? No, not too oh, bad. Okay. Were you yeah, trying to reach? Okay. I was or? okay. That's good. Okay. Yeah. yeah I was I just mean, curious. Have you seen anybody have take any bad no, spills? I've heard stories of people like the Cali guys that have that shit up in the redwoods. Like uh-huh. I've heard of stories of those things. Oh, like, and those are high. Yeah, those are high. Do they die? No, they don't die. I've heard of people breaking their backs and shit. Oh, so it's yeah. like you know that's why you sign liability form shit like that you know just okay. take all your employees at the festival uh too? so the like festivals the- are cool because they have like you know when you buy your ticket all that shit's written down a it's like a ski print. pass you know if you're fucking uh-huh. around the art installations that's on your own okay. so i kind of get my ass covered through them which is cool that is so that's cool. where i drop my new ideas and all that stuff because i get all my liability covered yeah, and my there. question right. earlier it makes sense if it's on their property it's on them yeah, yeah. so i right. have them actually sign a liability form when i'm done that's uh-huh. a required thing is once you, once i'm finished with my art product i give it to you that's for you to enjoy i'm done with that i have no obligations to that anymore uh-huh. so i have so, them sign that liability form you know just like we're saying if you get you know some daughter over there or dad's a rich lawyer they could totally fucking end you you sure, know so it's like sure. you got to be careful you just stuff pull like out that. the paper yep there you go so, hey, yep sorry your daughter yep. doesn't know what she's doing <laughs> yeah you good, let your daughter good. in a net <laughs> yeah so you know i try to be good about you know making them as safe as i can i always hope that never comes to the case but it's like right. you, know, you got to cover your ass on that stuff especially nowadays especially when you're in california uh-huh. these guys are so happy man you got to get all your stuff yeah. covered on that you know for sure yeah uh, yeah i see that man that's <laughs> that's crazy man you're lucky that the festivals kind of take care of that shit yeah for you. no that's cool but Those i mean but on the independent out. product projects like that forty thousand dollar project i mean who's insuring that so anybody the liability yeah. form yeah the liability basically so once and those it's guys, a glamping place right yeah, so, so we, if somebody gets hurt on their place prop, glamping like glamorous camping <laughs> yeah yeah it's like super cool camping but now it's gonna be dope you know now i might elevated. go there yeah. it's gonna be elevated yeah, gonna be he elevated. said elevated yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dude, but, you need uh, yeah. logo. Do you have shirts and stuff? I do. Dude, I, I need to get more shirts. You need so much here, merch. Just know. get. <laughs> yeah. so I will push merch. it, dude. I think get elevated is already taken by La Cumbre. <laughs> I will. But I will. Something oh, yeah. elevated. You can definitely. Yeah, that'd be a sick shirt. Well, I think that. Yeah, yeah. it's Trina Willie's custom rope platforms for elevated living. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's what I go by. So. Elevated dude, yeah. Living, we're going to promote the shit out of this. I love it. Especially after like hanging in one. That was like a really good idea to go hang in one for like a couple hours yeah, before yeah. we came well, that's what I figured. This. I was like, come check out, see what yeah, I'm doing. I'm glad you know, did. I'm, gl- that was a I'm smart, glad he went because I'm always trying to explain <laughs> tree nets to people after I met you. People don't get them unless you sit I, your ass. I'm always at, just like, it's so dope. Well, <laughs> I looked up YouTube videos and that's where I saw that clip about the, the, Moab, the two guys yeah, yeah. well no about the two guys in hollywood oh like oh, more oh. recently I yeah, think. yeah yeah just a little interview that they did mm-hmm. yeah yeah and so i was like who is this like treating that with i was trying to find video i couldn't find it that's how but, i do but, it yeah yeah i like it i mean <laughs> but but the thing is now you might want to start putting yourself out there a little bit more totally. dude, maybe not you, yeah. i think your you product have, i think you got the right idea you have yeah pictures well, it's, of it's other people both, in you know? your product yeah and you have so much ex- more experience Especially now. models. You're 12 years in, dude. I mean, and you're like probably what most people would consider like an expert in this field. So He's the expert. The expert. <laughs> so, 
So yeah, now's a good time to like start like like putting out videos, not necessarily how to videos. Yeah, Dude, yeah, yeah, you should yeah. work That's with the suicide do that. girls. Yeah, yeah. Do promotional. You should work with the suicide girls. Just black and purple nets. Ooh, Hot tattooed women. Go. Black Dude, lights. Thing. We can fit any theme. We can fit anything you want to do, man. And put, festivals yeah. are down with that. It's not uh, like you're losing yeah. business. Yeah, no, Dude, yeah. You're not working for elementary schools. <laughs> you can put a tree net anywhere. Even in like a fucking show that was taking place in a warehouse inside, you can put yeah, a tree yeah. net. Yeah. You should like, get with Cirque du Soleil, too. Anywhere, man. You have yeah. such a very, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? It's just like um, Unique? utility, like a, like a diverse diverse thank you yeah a diverse business where it can like it can function on multiple platforms and that is literally that's a blessing bro like and that's yeah, really yeah. fucking cool that you've developed that so i think now yeah maybe start fucking trying to get your shit out yeah, there and i yeah. bet you blow up within a year dude well the festivals like i was saying is the perfect thing you know sitting down on these nets and guys will come up to me like dude i do lighting for you know mm-hmm. insomniac like uh-huh. fucking check this shit out. Like, uh-huh. can we do you know some sort of you know mycelium installation where we're doing strings and hitting them with lights? But it's like, you look at some of these installations now, and it's like, they're cool and all. But it's like, for me, when I look around, it's like, dude, this is so elementary. And yeah. it's like, dude, you could See? be making like next level portals and That's stuff where you're walking you- through yeah. where it's in an actual immersive world. You know, it's yeah. like you don't just sit there and look at it and like, oh, this is sure. cool. You know, yeah. There's this chick, uh, Janet Eckelman, that does these kind of like a. Uh, government grant type stuff like i was telling you you know these guys just throw out you know these huge budgets for these things for these installations downtown but this chick got paid like two and a half million dollars for this net it was a marine net she you know colored it whatever it was pretty cool looking but she but su- suspended it with an a crane existing net and she hit it with lights you know you could tap into your iphone and you could you know scroll around on your iphone and the lights would hit it but she got paid two and a half million dollars for that and it's just like God. I'm I could be the 2.0 you, dude, version of that. Dude, no problem. Is fucking dude. up. <laughs> Mal, I'll say it now. No, dude. They, it's going to happen. I'm not going to I'm Meow telling. Wolf until well, thing. Yeah. you get with, my boy Trina with Willie your in there. Work, with yeah. your work I don't want those ethic, bullshit dude. platforms. Yeah. I want to bounce, son. Well, that's the problem <laughs> with these festivals now too. Is it's like, dude, I love doing this stuff, but it's like I'm at the point now where it's like I can do a backyard project for ten grand in a week. Or I can go do this and make nothing. And dude, break you're gonna even. be. And it's yeah. like I don't know. You know, I'm, I'm doing nets for forty thousand dollars. Dude, Google's now. gonna hire Those guys you. Guys don't have that crazy. money. You know? and it'll only go up, bro. Unless we're doing tree net festivals, dude. Oh. What company has like slides and shit in their offices? It's like Google or <laughs> yeah, something creative. Up, yeah. So, dude, you're gonna be like David Cho that painted Facebook. <laughs> I'm, yeah, I'm yeah. saying, like, you're gonna get to that point where it's like, this is the guy we trust. Like, we're putting our employees in this thing. Like, we're making this an option. But yeah. can you imagine getting to your office? You gotta crawl up a fucking tunnel or like platforms. That would be so cool. Well, they have all these like, you know, social meeting Wish conference more spaces trees. or whatever. And it's like, gosh, man, we just need to be tapping into weird little funny markets like that where these guys just pay whatever, you know? But it's yeah. like. You know, Google's the perfect example like that, you know. But that's al- also does. why every time I hit yeah, you up, I felt like this sense of urgency cuz I'm like, dude, this guy's about to be unavailable. Like I see that <laughs> happening <laughs> feel, uh, where you're just going to be so goddamn hooked up and you're going to be getting compensated for it. Yeah. That's, so, that's I just want I, wanted yeah. to get you on while we still can. Shiva. Oh, shut up, dude. This dude's cool, man. He'll come back. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's nice being local, you know, yeah, stuff like yeah. this. Right. It's like, dude, this makes my life so easy, you know? So, I don't know. Like I was saying, I get festival guys to do the festival stuff. Mm-hmm. Traveling's okay. For mm-hmm. me, it's kind of an acquired taste, I guess, yeah. you know? But it's yeah. like coming home and just doing what I love to do in Colorado. Like, this whole quarantine thing's just been great, you know? Just kind of stepping away from the crazy, you know, the festival stuff, the just grind. one after another after another, and you got to keep, you know, coming up with new shit. It's like, I, I'm not making the same stuff every time, you know? Uh-huh. So I'm always trying to, you know, do new things, but it's nice just kind of taking that whole weekly grind off from festival to festival. Sure. Just being able to dial in on, okay, here's my new game plan, you know? We're doing backyards now. How can I bring the festival scene? How can I bring amusement parks and playgrounds and merge all these things together and, you know, make one badass interactive piece that nobody's seen before? <laughs> yeah, you got but, one with the slide exit now. Yeah. That's another yeah, level. Yeah. Taking playgrounds apart and putting them together with rope. <laughs> Dude, I don't see why, like, a hotel wouldn't just have a giant net over the yeah, pool and or like, something. Yeah, and, like, a fucking water slide Or a water park. Down. Totally, Even? man. Well, that's the thing. It's like, you know, Singapore airports, and you, you know, see that thing in Thailand, right. with like the, that waterfall down the yeah. center. It's like, gosh, man, I just don't feel like I'm that far away from doing stuff like You're that. Not. You know? Dude, you could yeah. do a net bridge. Yeah, have like, the whole thing light up, hit yeah. it with projectors, make it look like brain synapses. Buy a fake waterfall in a yeah. hotel or something. You need a or? diaper to cross that thing. Dude. dude. <laughs> yeah. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Going to be the next big thing. 
Yeah, you should hire me and Brian to do your PR, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I believe in him. Hey, we'll see how this I goes. I do believe we'll go in from it. There. I'm just joking, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, don't I, expect a lot. Hey, but <laughs> dude, it's I, actually funny. I, I truly do believe in it, though. After just the one afternoon today, dude, like, this shit is dope, and I see the potential. <laughs> I'm not just blowing smoke, I swear. Hell like, yeah. Like, it's a really cool idea, and it's cool that you've figured out how to make a living off of it, dude. Yeah. So, well, thanks so much, man. Keep, you know? Yeah. Yeah, definitely. It's yeah, awesome. it was actually funny doing the podcast, dude. There was a lot of people that hit me up. Like, oh, I, I heard your shit on, you know, Greenlight or whatever. Really? I was like, really, dude? Oh, yeah. Sweet, I didn't know anybody dude. even heard that we stuff. Got a, you know, we're the got first a little reach. I was like, damn, yeah, dude. No, dude. That, was, that was probably five or ten people that hit me up like that. Like, nice. oh, I heard you from Greenlight or whatever. You that's know? okay. Like, okay, cool. Oh, cool. Well, hopefully this time... Get, get, get I don't get out much either, so that's good numbers, too, yeah. man. So. We'll do but we'll And what's cool best. is that, uh, like, Brian and Phil have had listeners from all over the globe so i mean yeah, you never yeah. know who's who listening knows, dude yeah. who might be like yo come to spain and put up some nets you know whatever that'd do be, it that'd we be sick now's the time where's the craziest place you've been what was like the wildest trip yeah let's see bali was pretty crazy costa rica was pretty crazy yeah. i went down there for envision for that festival but we were down there for like three three weeks three and a half weeks something like that okay but, I mean, it was hot, man. We were inside one time. The grocery store closed. That was the only time we were indoors the whole month. <laughs> oh, my God. So it was just we a canvas sheet. We yeah. sweated our asses off. But they were they, they called them bungalows, but it was basically uh, like little jail cells. I mean, you could <laughs> yeah. like look up out of your bunk bed, and you could see the whole way down. Oh, know? wow. So it was like, gosh, man, this is crazy. Especially, I'm from Montana. I don't do heat well. You yeah, know? yeah. So it's like, dude, that shit whipped my ass the first couple of days. Damn. But we sat there, and we just sweated because we didn't have the rope. Did you we, adjust we up on that. acclimate at all? Oh, yeah. No, yeah. By the end, you know, Breeze would come. I'd be like, oh, it's a little chilly out here. You know? It would be like 85, you know. I was right. like, holy crap, man. This is wild. But, yeah. You know, you're out there the whole time, and you're just sweating. You know, you take a shower, hop out, you're immediately just sweating again, right. you know. But it was cool. Like I was saying, we were doing the hammocks down there, so it was like everyone was just kind of had a rough time. Not necessarily a rough time, but it was like there was some people did a lot better than others, you know. Mm-hmm. But a lot of those, like like, the those, people those hammocks were really kind of a savior for – a lot of people there, I think, just because, uh-huh. I mean, they, they literally, the whole seating budget was the hammocks that they paid me to do, and then they got stumps. And they weren't uh-huh. even cut straight. They were like slanted stumps. Right. So people either sitting on that. It's like a redneck stumps, wedding. Yeah, or the crowd. <laughs> exactly. Or my hammocks. So my hammocks just had a line to go sit in them because people are just miserable, you right. know? Was there a time limit? Like, did you see people start getting pissed? Not really. Like, get the fuck out of the hammock. Well, it was funny, though, because actually we did them in these, I don't know if they're like you know coconut trees or palm trees or what they were exactly some sort of variety but they had these little nuts that were falling out of the tree so you get on the hammock and the whole thing would kind of move around and nuts would fall down but these chicks would be like you know sun tanning and then they'd get whacked from this nut like you know this rock hard golf ball from like 40 feet out of the tree right in the pussy right in the back dude and they would you know get this huge welt and they're like looking around oh. and like, what is that to me you know but it was like you know, the tree kind of filters them out themselves. That you was know, you, Jesus. You hang out for too long, you get whacked, you know? That yeah. makes sense. People, yeah, we take a it's break, like getting bro. stung by a bee. Exactly. You're just like, right, fuck yeah. this it's place. It's only a matter of time. You yeah. Know? Bees yeah. don't fuck with me, though. Dave seems to have an issue with bees. <laughs> I've just gotten stung by every which one. and they all. scared of bees? Is that the Not problem? scared of them, no. I, I've always had bad allergies. I've oh. gotten better as I've gotten older, luckily. So I haven't been stung since I was a kid, but when I was a kid, man, I get stung and my whole limb would oh, be yeah. like I forget you're allergic up. to stuff. Damn, that yeah. makes sense. I'm it. not. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Except cheese. Yeah, apparently. Can't have dairy. Oh, yeah. Damn. It's yeah. a whole thing. It's a recent <laughs> discovery and I, it bums me the fuck out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I ate mac and cheese and garlic mashed potatoes in front of them today and I felt guilty the whole time, That's, dude. Don't feel like, guilty, man. I, I was so satisfied. Melted cheeses. Yeah, we yeah. went to Burt's. <laughs> All right, you want to take pee break? Please. Let's take a little pee right, break. We'll be back. Thank you. It's a little jarring sometimes. <laughs> yeah. The metronome. But yeah, people giving you beers when you're in trees. Yeah, it's give them trees. It's good and it's bad, but yeah, no, it's, it's at least nice. when you're high, you're you're super aware of yeah, what's going on. They should bring out those little mini joints that we had every yeah, house those today, dude. Guys. Those things yep, are yep, perfect, yep. dude. Like little give smokies, those, yeah. yeah, give those to the employees. Those are nice, and during these Corona times, perfect. Yeah, exactly. Right. Everyone gets your own. Yep. But yeah, it's been funny working for all these backyards, and everyone's like, you know, here's all this food. 
here's all these drinks, you know, knock yourself out, take whatever you want, you know, enjoy my uh, man cave, you know, blah, blah, blah. It's like, we get treated like kings, you know, but it's like, it's hard to say no sometimes. Get all drunk. So we just get all this <laughs> stuff, man. You yeah. know, here, take a hit of this, you know, here, take, you know, have another beer, here, right. have a shot of this. It's like, oh yeah. my gosh, man. It's time to go they home, just, man. Can't be just, doing this. <laughs> they just love you, dude. They're having fun. It's good, you know. I mean, heaven forbid, that's, like, that's the you're problem providing, for getting too many things. You're providing fun for 10 years to come. Like, they should be happy, dude. Yeah, when's <laughs> McDonald's gonna jump on this train at Willie train? I'm gonna make Every a billion dollars once that guy. Yeah, once that guy hits me up, that's gonna be it. Dude, no shit though. Like that. Like Brian said that when we were up there before. He's like, it's like a, a McDonald's play place or whatever. Well, way it's better, yeah. but it's just way better. But I mean, you can. E- I could easily see one of those. You could put a ball pit in nets. Yeah, it would no, be we've, better. We've, yeah. we've tried, dude. They actually they squeeze out through the bottom. <laughs> uh, <laughs> when you step funny. on them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> yeah, we've done that. Actually, we did that for Far Out Factory, and everyone was just sitting in the trampolines, throwing balls out into the crowd the whole time. So we just stayed, spent the whole next day just picking up balls all across the whole place. You know? so, all right, we're yeah. done with that one. That was yeah. a good idea, but that one didn't really fall through. I bet it was awesome when it was going on. Oh, though. people loved it. Man. Yeah. And they were like, what is this? We need <laughs> yeah. these everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> Festivals. Awesome. Yeah. But the cleanup might not be worth it. Yeah. Nets are cool enough. Yeah, but what about like with a pool at the bottom? That seems like that'd be dope. Well, like I was with a hoop, shit, like with, over, well, with like a fishing, hoop, dude. Just go on the creek, dude. Set up. You can just set up, set a little net over the creek. Oh, you just yeah. go fish or rip those things out of the center oh, portal, sure. dude. Oh my god, center gosh. portal. That'd like be too ice much fishing. Fun. Yeah, that'd be too but much warm. fun. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but bearable. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that would be super dope. I would get it stuck in the net so many times. The hook. I'm yeah, not. You gotta get a big enough hole, man. Yeah, you'd I'm not the okay. most coordinated okay. cat. You could do it. <laughs> just like on that third level, dude. If that thing was just a little little ring to a bunch of fish, dude, you'd be ripping them out all day. Oh, for sure, dude. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know how confident he is. Yeah, last few times I went fishing, I didn't catch anything big <laughs> enough to clean. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> just like, well, this little fucker's not doing much. You caught some bait. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, yeah, that's so funny. And I wasn't fishing for sure. Where's or the? Anything. Where's your uh, favorite net that you ever put up? Ooh, my favorite one. That's a good question. That is a good question. Backyard's pretty hard to fuck with. Yeah, yeah, the backyard's a pretty good one. That one, like, that one only was recent. Has like recently become quarantine kind of next level. You but know? what about quarantine like, helped? I but. guess maybe I mean like out there, like Nate, just not a backyard. Public yeah. land, private land, by a river, by a lake, anything. Yeah, I don't know. That's that's a good question, man. I think the the key is like I kind of get these things in a lot of different places with views you know so it's hard to like beat sure. you know there's not necessarily one that necessarily beats the other ones you yeah know? it's it's they're all know, in pretty it's got a bit kennebec you know over like look, looking lizard head and all this stuff from miles away it's mm-hmm. like dude this is pretty incredible you know yeah i bet mollus is dope mollus is cool yeah, yeah. up on little mollus up there so that one's kind of over got any like, around your eh? uh nothing around your ray yeah there's something there up at red uh red mountain red up mountain. there yep yep so i got a buddy Marshall that does a bunch of stuff here too, but he lives in Silverton, so he's been fucking around with stuff up there. Him, my buddy Casey, they both do stuff up there. Perfect. So yeah, you know, people, good you know, it's all just kind of growing. You know, it's just mm-hmm. a big network. You know, of people that kind of just build off from what I'm doing, and uh-huh. you know, buddies do it with their buddies, and but their buddies do it with their buddies. You know, but it's like now we're getting to the point where it's like, dude, these things are everywhere. You know, you hear about yeah. these things like over the Mish up in you know Fort Collins and stuff, and it's like, dude, these things are getting put in pretty crazy places they're gonna be like yeah. smoke shacks on every mountain totally you know what I mean? yeah 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 no keep an eye out man like look up dude. those <laughs> things are around you know so yeah. i got them out there just you know just That's myself so i have cool. them everywhere but it's how like, many do more you more think people you do have this, scattered you know? uh like right now i typically keep around 10 i typically you know okay, keep so it around you put that them number up and then take them back yeah down. Okay. i like to keep it around that number just because it's manageable and i can remember you know where they all are right you keep a log uh yeah so i have i have them written down i got a whiteboard with everything written down on there but typically i have little mason jars out there too they just say you know your name location you know this is true name with little hidden hangout please treat it with respect you know clean up after yourself blah 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 you know nice yeah so cool yeah it's fine you know i don't know if they're technically legal or not just with you know the whole forest (laughs) service thing no permanent stuff but i try to be good about you know not cleaning out too many branches and i you know Uh I, i do good about cleaning up and i try to make it you know not a big intrusion to the space you know but i try right. to try to maximize the area the most i can you know yeah. but i feel like i get a lot more joy out of those things and spread the joy with that spot you know it's fun meeting people that'll be like oh dude i've been hanging out these things you know for five ten years you know <laughs> like one of my favorite stories is going up to red rocks and we were at some concert 
Bass Nectar concert or something, you know, and I'm like, oh, what's up, man? You know, I recognize you from Durango. You know, I do the tree nets and, you know, guys behind me are like, oh, shit, you know, we've hung out in those things, you know, every weekend since we, <laughs> we moved there, you know, but it's like everyone around me knows these things, you know, yeah. just like you were saying at the it's grocery crazy. store or whatever today. It's like, oh, you want to tree net Willie's house, you're, you know, but it's like, you're like a local celebrity that nobody knows. It's yeah. getting wild to that. It's weird. It's you're how mystical, that is, you know? bro. You're mystical. <laughs> I'm so glad I know John. <laughs> And yeah, yeah. All that worked out. I just hit you up and I was like, I have this podcast. Do yeah. you want to come on? Well, and yeah. Yeah. It's, it's crazy. awesome, man. The John story is funny because I used to go down there, you know, getting stuff from my plants or whatever. And right. I was, he's like, dude, I've, I've heard of you, man. Like, I was like, I think I actually asked him if I could drop my, my business cards off one day. And he's uh-huh. like, oh, dude, like, I've heard of you. Like, I've been thinking about hitting you up sometime. I'm like, dude, honestly, now's the time. Like, yeah. I've been, my numbers have been going up. All these things are, you know, I'm on an exponential hill right now. He's like, all right, dude, I'll get you out next weekend. You yeah. know, hired me. He's blah, the right guy to bump into for that. Got that yeah. thing for, you know, a <laughs> fraction of what we do now. The barrels, John? You know? Yeah. Okay. But, yeah, I mean, he was pumped, you know, and he was like, dude, like, thank you so much for telling me in advance. Like, for sure. You know, you weren't cocky about it, but you were just like, dude, I'm about to blow up. And if you want some shit, now's the time. Yeah. You know, because it's like, dude, I literally travel the world doing this stuff. And it's right. like, it's right. hard to come around and right. make small numbers like that happen, you know? But, sure. It was cool doing his because he does so much advertising for me, you know, and it's like he had a movie theater all set up. So it was like, dude, you get the boys over there. That's why I went there. Yeah. yeah, we had a movie party on the net. And I was yeah. like, where did this come from? <laughs> He's like, then he started telling the legend of Tree Net Willie, you know, yeah, that yeah. I've heard many times. And the it's fucking, well, that's it's, the name it's of your so book. It's so funny. Yeah, city, like, that's I'll the name sit, of this podcast. I'll sit in the net sometime, <laughs> yeah. dude, and people will be like, oh. I've heard of Trina Willie. He's like some old hippie that like comes to town <laughs> randomly and makes these things. And I'll be sitting next to him I'm like, dude, what are you talking about, man? Like, but it's so funny hearing it's these so things because cool, people don't know, you know, yeah. but they'll just say stuff. Yeah. But it's like I go to Nets in Boulder all the time that I've made in college. Yeah. And I'll, you know, a couple will walk up. I'll be like, oh, how do you guys know about this place? And yeah. the chick will be like, oh, my boyfriend made this. And yeah. I was just like, oh, dude, maybe this guy you looks should... so dumb right now. Like, <laughs> <laughs> maybe you should make your just videos. Your business card. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> make your videos with like, a wig, a gray wig, and like make yeah, yourself yeah. look old. Yeah, just to, so funny. Just to same for up, Tommy man. Chong. <laughs> just to just to perpetuate the mis- the mystery. Just go for of, the image. You yeah, know? build yeah. an image that just yeah. is Trina Willie. Yeah. yeah, that's so. Funny. You're like the Burt's Bees guy. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Trina motherfucking Willie. Yeah, good stuff. You play tennis. I'm really good at ping pong. There you go. There's something else. Okay. <laughs> but I don't play much tennis. <laughs> table tennis works. But I'm really good at table. Are you? I got these long ass arms, man. It's hard to, hard to get it past. Did you me, play a you lot know? in Indonesia? Yeah, I would have whooped those guys. Up. No, those guys. Probably They're probably pretty good. Dude. They've probably never played ping pong before. They just use their hands honest, as paddles. <laughs> yeah. They're quick. Man. Those so guys hard. are good. Yeah. <laughs> but you outreach them. Yeah. Two to by, one by far. Dude. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that was the funnest part. It was like over in Bali when I was telling you for those nets. The owner was this guy, Yannick, the six foot four German. And then it was me, six foot four, you know, skinny white dude. But everyone else is a foot shorter or less. You yeah, know? So sure. it's like just a whole different world being over there and just looking over everybody the whole time. Everybody you know? can always yeah. see you. What do we do, Mr. <laughs> Willie? You know? And it's like, you know, you feel like Did you're they in call God you Mr. Willie? <laughs> what oh, do yeah, we yeah. do, Mr. Willie? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, oh, but, I mean, they didn't speak in English. It was like, Mr. Willie, Mr. Willie, you know, yeah. a couple things. That's how they identified yeah, selfie. You. They knew selfie, too, like photo. Take a selfie, selfie. <laughs> <laughs> Instagram is destroying this world. Yeah, yeah. They were probably so yeah, stoked. Crazy, man. They probably were so happy. Well, they all had either. iPhones. They were all taking Instagram and stuff. You yeah. know, I was like, dude, this is crazy, man. Even over here in Bali, they're all, you know, they're on the grid, man. You know, yeah. it's like, dude, crazy. I guess that's the beautiful thing about social media. Yeah. We're all more aware. Yeah equalizes yeah. the game dude and puts us all on the same playing field black lives matter all that jazz <laughs> <laughs> that's just been the last couple of weeks but yeah that's that's most of it yep. <laughs> <laughs> but i support it it's been a lot more than the last couple of weeks but that's okay right but that fucking that's all of instagram now. <laughs> i know i'm just joking this year's been crazy man yeah it has it's been super been crazy wild. we're seeing like a movie play out in front of us this is gonna be a movie yeah if For we sure. all live or we die. Yeah, yeah, that's option B. Yeah, we're like halfway through it, too. We're only in June. I know it. Yeah, that's crazy. Just still, waiting for we the still, super hey, volcano. Still has the chance to get better. Could still be a good end of the year. Yeah. Stay positive. If we can do comedy, I'm good. I know. That's I, all I want, dude. Everyone needs a place to kick Oh, back we have an open mic next away. week. Uh, Wednesday. Tuesday, I think. Tuesday? Yeah, I can't Is come. it Tuesday? Fuck. 
I don't know the date. <laughs> that sucks that you can't come. I know. What is today? Wednesday? Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. So I'll figure it out. I'll get there. Yeah. So the 16th Starlight, Starlight Lounge. Yeah. We got an open mic. If you want to come see some comedy and you're in Durango, do that. And then, you know. Try to hit up Trinet Willie and find out where a cool tree net is. <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. Don't be bugging me with that crap. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you got to know yeah, him personally totally. or go fuck yourself. <laughs> Unless you're super hot. Do you have yeah. a girlfriend? Uh, as of recently, no. So, so a super hot Good girl question. might get a tree net location. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Slide on in them DMs. Yeah, he'll ping you. Uh, Jesus. <laughs> I need to get a secretary for that. You're not far off, dog. I'm not one day. Yeah, just you, you got to get an it. old lady. That handles that <laughs> shit. You don't want a young dude, otherwise He'll they're just gonna off. fuck him. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah and you don't want sloppy seconds. Not Tree from number, some dude yeah. that's gonna be your secretary. Yeah. No, it's, <laughs> it's a horrible setup. You're doing it wrong. <laughs> yeah, they're gonna take every opportunity that comes around, like me. Yeah. I mean, Tr- I have a girlfriend. Trickle down now. banging. What is that from? Blue Mountain State. That's exactly. Yeah. What yeah it as is. long as Trickle you started off, you look like the guy from Blue Mountain State. Now that I kind of think about it. <laughs> But your hair's shorter? It. Oh, it's just debauchery in football. It's beautiful. <laughs> it's America, yeah. dog. When I was 18, that was awesome. It's called. Yeah, I remember when it came <laughs> out. I just never watched it. Yeah. Was it funny? Uh, Yeah, it was good. I liked it at the time. I haven't watched it in a long time. Did you play any sports in college? I didn't get I mean, I not got, in I like college. I shot up like my junior year of college, to be honest. So I was like, I was really fast. I had great hand-eye coordination. So I played a lot of soccer, played a lot of baseball, stuff like that, you know. I didn't start playing basketball till later. At least there's nets in soccer. Ne- yeah, there's nets in everything if you think about it. <laughs> Not baseball. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, well, yeah, actually, yeah, there basketball. is back- yeah, basketball. So you started yeah. playing uh, basketball when you got tall? I got, I got, yeah, I got pretty tall. <laughs> I get that. I could, I could jump pretty good, too. You're like, I so. might be able to do this. Yeah, well, nice. I was doing like, well, I have a, my sister's six foot one, like I was telling right. you. Right. So I bet she's like, she used to go out in the backyard, just dominate. Yeah. So it was like, yeah, this has to end. So <laughs> I learned how to dunk. Same thing with my dad. It was like, he, he was a big old dude. He wasn't athletic, you know? It was like, he yeah. just scoot his ass under the basket. There's nothing, not a damn thing I could do, you know? Yeah. So I was like, all right, I got to learn how to jump. Inner so. family competition. Oh, doesn't get its due. You, you yeah. learn, It's man, yeah. very valuable. Yeah. No, the only reason time. I can defend myself is because I have an older brother <laughs> yeah. that's a little yeah. bit of a wild card. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? You like, learn a lot from that stuff. The first yeah. time I beat him wrestling, he elbowed me in the face. So. <laughs> <laughs> yep. That's how it goes. But. Yeah. I didn't think we were elbowing people in the face, but, you know, he wasn't going to lose the little brother. Yeah. He's from Farmington, bro. There's a hierarchy here. Farmington man. rules. Yeah. Worse. Yeah. It's from water flow. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds rough. You don't even know where that is, do you? I have no idea. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, I mean, neither. Can't hour say I've done any nets there. <laughs> yeah. There's big cottonwoods. You could. Yeah. I got family with money. Maybe I could hook you up with a fat backyard job. <laughs> <laughs> Why not just looking for ways to spend money right now? Dude, Dude, that's how everybody is, man. It's crazy. Either you're saving it or you're looking for a place to spend it, man. And if you can I'm, tap into the right half of that community, God, you're crushing me. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm terrible at the first part of that. Yeah. <laughs> if I owned a house, I would have a tree net already. Yeah. But yeah, well, I think, I think quarantine's helped me out a ton just because everyone's stuck inside with their kids for, you know, uh, yeah, two, just, three months. And then like, all right. I yeah, you build a, any amount of money to get these kids outside. A net you know, yeah. so. jail sale outside. Exactly. Yeah. Get in there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Cage them off. Lock them down. Yeah, just throw a door on that bitch. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> yeah. They just, you just come out. They're just bouncing in their cell. Yeah, exactly. Jumping. They love it, though. They wouldn't know the difference. Laughing. Yeah. 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 yeah, like hyenas. <laughs> Little monkeys. Yeah, if you put me on that fucking tree nut we were on earlier for an hour every day, I'd be... Just fine with that. I'd take a book. <laughs> I'd start turning that. Oh, yeah. Well, I'd kind of treat it like I did jail. <laughs> like, I'm just going to be laying around anyway. Might as well bring something to keep me entertained. Can't just stare at your phone all the time. Amen to that, dude. Yeah, yeah. no doubt. Read a chapter. See how fast you can get down and up the tree net. Yep. Yeah. Read a chapter. That way you're exercising. And she- reading. You can get into the health business. <laughs> <laughs> health and wellness. Meant- yeah, dude. Dude, talk about core. You got to have balance you yeah, know what yeah, i mean you're yeah. you're engaging all kinds of shit when you're yeah. walking around on one of those especially if you're barefoot i bet that's so good for your feet yeah maybe wear socks so i've gotten hit up for like yoga teachers that are like mm. oh we should get like you know these big nets where people can pull and you like you know you can like kind of link your hands in uh-huh. the, the web and you can pull and do all these different things but i've right. had people like oh we need to do you know tree net yoga classes or blah 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 i've had dudes hit me up recently that were like oh we, we're doing vision quests can we build these platforms to do the vision quests on and it's wow. just like, dude, all these weird, you That's know, requests. Crazy, like, man. It makes sense, though. Yeah, yeah. Like, Are you going to do it? 
We'll see if he's got the money, Seems man. Seems like a good yeah, idea, yeah. though. But it, it he's does. a businessman. It's a biz- <laughs> yeah, we don't commit right off the bat, dude. No, but. I know, I know. <laughs> That seems but like a great idea, though. It's cool. You know, I get hit up for all these weird kind of niche things, you know. It's kind of feed into what I'm doing, too. So people oh. see it and they're like, oh, I've been thinking about this or I've seen this before, you know, I've tried to do this myself. And it's cool when people see my finished product. They're like, oh, this is what I've been trying to create or, you know, this is what the vision is. Mm-hmm. And then once they see that, it's like, oh, I'm already set, you yeah. know. I uh-huh. can pretty much charge whatever I want to. And those guys, they want it, you know. Right, right. And, it's awesome, um, man. Theoretically, even if you live in the desert, you could fucking concrete in some like eight by eight posts, like yeah. treated posts, yeah. and just I mean, build you can rock bolts anchor and into stuff those, too. Yeah. yeah, stuff off rocks. I mean, there's, that's cool. You can get creative, you yeah. know. So the trampolines has been kind of a cool angle, like I was saying before, is like renting yeah. these things out as portable hammock villages, where I'm just using these trampoline frames, mm-hmm. and I'm just renting them out with shade claws and misters and whatever, you know. But turning it into this one, you know, VIP shade hangout, you mm-hmm. know. But it's becoming. A necessity is we're like tapping into all these you know markets of you know being able to sit down and being able to you know provide shade and being able to you know cool these people down but it's like you know you're the hottest girl at the party once you have something like that and it's artwork you can interact with it the whole thing glows you can you know hang out right people don't leave usually you know it's like the same 15 dudes i see the whole freaking time that's the big problem i see with it yeah it's like too good you almost have to have it a fucking egg (laughs) time you know what i mean (laughs) it's too good Well, that's what people ask it's like dude like how do you get people off of these things and it's like you almost have to do them by like food vendors and stuff where people kind of you know eat your food and then you're off right you know that makes sense you go to festivals people do not leave those things man they'll pick them up and take them everywhere they go too because it's like that's part of the fun thing it's like you know and you allow that litter them across the place i'll put like you know five or ten of them around and people can just pick them up take them wherever you want when the music starts they just all are around the stage or whatever it it always cracks me up like you'll see like tipper playing and you'll see dude just like you know trampoline that they're taking across the whole fucking you know scooting people out of the way to move one of my trampolines up to the front and they'll stand on it you know rage the whole time and it's just like dude this is so crazy man you know but it's just like you know dude all these kids you know 50 kids raging on these trampolines you know all the parents go there it's just like taken over by all these different things you know it's just like Dude, it's amazing. It's amazing these things last, but they do. Yeah. <laughs> but it's like once they make it through a weekend at a festival, it's like oh, a yeah, pretty good test, you know? You were saying earlier the weather has a little bit of an effect on it, but not... Yep. So that, that cord, in theory, is like UV-resistant, mold-resistant, rot-resistant. You know, it does pretty well out there. Uh-huh. Obviously, you know, different cords are kind of, you know... All, not all cord is created equal, you know? Okay. So obviously, mm. different P cord, you, you can kind of get different different qualities of that stuff. So that's something I've been trying to become more and more... Black cords uh, matter. ...dialed in with. Yep, damn yeah. right. So <laughs> got to get the good stuff. But yeah, so I don't know. It's been big learning experience. So, But do you... Consi- do you uh, would you say that you continue to learn more every day? Oh, definitely. Yep, yep. That's good. Yeah. Yeah, it never ends. Yeah. And it's, it's fun, it too. Like I was saying, you know, every canvas of trees that you go to is totally different. So you got to, you know, it's all just problem solving and figuring that stuff out, you know? So mm-hmm. it's fun. It's not like, all right, we're doing another net today. Here's the right. same shit. Here's the same thing. Right. It's like, all right, how are we going to wrap this thing? Are we doing ramps? Are we doing right. tunnels? Are we you doing portals? You get stoked for it, dude. I love how like, stoked you get for it, dude. <laughs> <laughs> and eventually, yeah. You're it's it's contagious. Seen most dude. things. It's yeah. contagious. Like you're gonna get to a point where you're gonna be like, all right. So I did this thing a few years ago, and it was pretty dope. You know <laughs> what I mean? But I think we could do a better. You know? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Which is well, fucking sweet. My That's curve growth. has been so so vast, so you know, quickly. Like even making Sonic Bloom Net, it was yeah. like once I finished that, two months later, I was like, fuck, dude, I need to redo that thing. Like yeah. I could make that thing a million times better now. Right, you know? right. But it's like I guess I'll wait four or five years till they're, they're done. And I'll you know be way up on the curve and do it again and they're you know? not always outside like, they're mostly in storage right so yeah it depends use them wash know? them dry them and yeah, then yeah but that's the stuff is like you know these festivals like envision that hit me up it's like i literally stuffed all those things into a bag and brought them down there and then we just rigged them all up and i brought a little extra cord and we just wove in between but we were able to make like this massive you know 30 person hammock in a day and people you know wow we're walking by and they're like how the fuck did you make this like we were walking by there was nothing here yesterday yeah. you know that's and then awesome. i got this thing all wrapped around the trees everything set up you know but it's already kind of pre-made but yeah. nobody knows that you know right, so it's like right. they come in they're like who are you you and know the like, few you special this people that get to see the process like so that's like, like a fucking well they're all like the stage builders and shit too you know it's these guys that are making this yeah. stuff so that's how i was uh-huh. like you know doing stuff for electric forest and envision doing like you know the luna stage where they build like the taj mahal right it's like these full-scale buildings it's like those guys are there for six weeks building this stage you know uh-huh. but it's like they're hitting me up like dude how can we get your nets involved and incorporate this next year have you, you know? done burning man yet not yet I'm you gonna know go, it's coming I'm gonna go big at burning you know man. it's coming 
blow those kids away. Dude. Yeah. I've been waiting. Just don't I let them light really, it on really, fire. I was really going to say, are you okay with it getting lit on fire at well, the end? the rope turns into like a nylon like fusion pile so i don't know how that would oh. work you can't really burn it like it doesn't burn they like, wouldn't want to like, burn it yeah. i would i would yeah. hope they would not yeah yeah no that would, i just see some fucking maniacs it be good. Yeah, getting be a nightmare, fucked up i could but, see some maniacs getting fucked up and trying to do that yeah no i don't know how that oh, would go that i have would, scars all over my hands from burning the ends of those knots you know but it's like oh, really? that stuff yeah. it's not it's not like a burn it's like a fusion Nasty. it's like yeah. hot. does it like spark <laughs> and shit it's like bubbles bubbles okay Wow. I don't even know how to explain it. It's yeah. weird, man. But that's how I clean all the ends up. Is I'll like put little overhand knots on there, and then I cut them, and then I take a torch and I burn them. Uh huh. So that's how I get kind of that clean finish look for a lot of that stuff. Is right. Like you see that net over the canyons. They got a million fucking danglies sitting down. It's like dude, that's all you can see when you look at the net. Oh, I don't okay, know. For yeah. me, it's like that stuff's hard to look at. You know, it's hard on the eyes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're it's a purist. You like the the, clean yeah, cut. but it's like, dude, you got to clean that shit up, man. It makes yeah. it look way better. You yeah. Know? <laughs> Business. But that's the difference between you and him it's just son. a little fine touch <laughs> things you know yeah. but it's like even when i'm doing my private backyard projects i like being the guy that runs around i'll put the last hour into every every one of my projects you know but it's like mm. i like being that guy that just goes around all right this is looking good every knot's tied off all my holes are filled in you know uh -huh. but it's like no one kind of has that meticulous you know perfectionist kind of style that i do you know but right it's like, when i look at those things dude there's not a fucking string out of line when i'm done uh -huh. everything's perfect dude, you know it was tight. it's the like, process you're describing is kind of like writing a joke you know what yeah, I mean? Trimming the like, fat. Yeah. You're fucking, every yeah. time you tell it, you listen to it and you're like, well, that's wrong. And then sometimes yeah. when you're listening to it, something else pops into your head and you're like, oh, that would make it got way better. Got your key points, and got your punchline. You kind of work around it, you know? It's all fucked up. I usually start with a true story and then I work <laughs> from there. <laughs> yep. You start with this. This is the best joke. <laughs> no, no doubt. And then like every time you tell it, you use fewer words. I mean, yep, that's yep. the key is like, yep. like for writing a good joke is using as few words as possible in the joke. Yep. And you usually lie a little bit to make it cleaner, easier, more of course. just like impactful. Sometimes, yeah. Yeah. Sometimes. Absolutely. That does. That happens. I exaggerate a, a, a lot. lot. Yeah. I exaggerate sometimes. I didn't ship my pants in Walmart, but I'll tell a room full of people I did. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, just like, you know, you're right. That is like. But I almost shit my pants in Walmart, which is where the joke came from. But that's not as funny. <laughs> yeah, you just went full bore. Yeah. For the joke. That's right. I'm not going to live forever. Yeah. For the sake of the no. story. Exactly. You got that right. And it's not a fucking TED talk. Like. I know. It's supposed to be. It's supposed to be entertaining, dude. Right. You know, I try to focus most of my jokes like most like on true shit, you know, but and. 99% of it is true, but there are a couple embellishments and a couple jokes where it just it just it made it funnier, dude. All like, this homophobic material is a lie. I don't have homophobic <laughs> material. I, I saw seven minutes of it. I do not have homophobic material. I fell out of my chair. My That's how funny it was. My wife is gay. I am not homophobic. <laughs> so, that makes sense. Yeah. Uh, but, uh... I still tell some gay jokes though. <laughs> I tell joke I tell gay jokes, but they're all about me, which is <laughs> 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 that's, that's apropos. It's the truth part. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's uh, the ninety nine percent that's true. True hands funny. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever thought about doing stand up or writing jokes? Oh, or? For me, man, communicating's hard, dude. I can barely speak full sentences, so you yeah, can pull it back. Oh, bullshit, yeah, exactly, dude. You're yeah. well you should just leave. Well I've been I'm, I'm getting better at it, you know. But I mean, that's the thing. Like I was saying to Brian earlier, it was like the first time I did this podcast, I was so nervous. Uh -huh. I was like, dude, this is totally new for me. You uh -huh. know? But, but you, know. you did it. No question. Like, yeah, yeah. we met for a beer at Ska, yeah. and you were like, let's do this, man. I was like, yeah. fuck, yeah. yeah. Cool. And then, yeah, it was we'll drink beers Pretty and seamless, talk about man. nets, dude. That's what I do <laughs> best. So, yeah. You know? yeah, heaven forbid. It's just another day. Uh, yeah, exactly. Tree net willy shit. It makes me laugh every time you say the word nets. I'm sorry, <laughs> dude. It just does. Oh, you're so passionate. Dude, I love that, dude. I know. But that's why it's you so cool. And that's it, why dude. it's safe. You can feel the passion, dude. It's <laughs> great. Man, and for real, that that net we were on earlier, dude, that five stories of fucking nets, that was impressive, dude. Like, I don't know. I don't mean to, I'm not trying to suck your dick. It's Tell not, me. I just really, I just hey, truly. You're not the first one. I just. <laughs> for a ride home? I just. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> I just truly appreciate the the fucking product, dude. It's good shit. I've never seen anything like that before today, and I see it going everywhere now. Thanks, man. Yeah, 
for that's, sure. Yeah, that's right when I met you, I was like, this dude's about to blow up. Like, you should. <laughs> once I saw John's, I was like, how is this not in every fucking park, every backyard, every yeah, fucking? Totally. Yeah, you're gonna blow up. Just... Well, that's how everyone feels once they get one, you know. And everyone yeah. looks around, they're like, dude. I'm so lucky to have one of these almost, you know, it's like, I was up at Breckenridge. That chick was like, dude, thank you so much for coming here and doing this for me. Like, this is amazing. Like, yeah, I'm so, so cool. she yeah. hit you up. Yeah. You yeah, responded. Yeah. And yeah. You're like, yeah, I'll give you the coolest thing you've ever put in your yard. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> for real though. <laughs> Fuck a hot tub. Yeah. Fuck a trampoline yeah. for that matter. Child's dude. play. Yeah. This, this, this is Shit's all of that. Weak. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting yeah. high too. Yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah. Well, we should probably wrap this soon. You got, uh, you have a YouTube page to promote or do you have, uh, I think I do. I don't even know. Tree net willies <laughs> is probably all that stuff. I, I do some of the basic stuff just for the website, but that's something we'll be getting more into hopefully here soon. So not necessarily instructional is like we were saying, but right. doing, you know, just Pro- showing you what I'm up videos. to, you know? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Always up to new things. So yeah, it's kind of fun. Let people know where you're going to be we're... and shit. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Tree net willie on Instagram. Yeah. And you know, people the more they get to know you, they're going to go to festivals because they're going to be like, dude, Trinette, Willie's there. We can just pull the trampoline. Like, yeah. Well, shit's going to start getting crazy here soon too. And it's yeah. going to be like, yo, people are going to give you these budgets and I'm just going to have so much stuff. How I'm long until you have over, to you hire know? a semi driver? So yeah, that's, to, like, that's what we've been talking shit. about. It's yeah. like, you know, when's the trailer showing up with all yeah, this crap? Yeah. It's nice now. Cause most of the guys that work for me, we all have Tacomas. So yeah. like, I can fit the dome and all these trampolines and everything in there, you know, it's just yeah, the team for now. But it's like, we're getting to that point here soon where it's like, gosh, man, I'm gonna need a whole s- festival semi truck that just takes mm-hmm. this shit from place to place. My uncle know? owns a trucking company. Yeah. I got right. you, dog. Let's do <laughs> that, man. Hell 20% yeah. discount. <laughs> uh, we'll see. I don't know what happens with the money, <laughs> yeah, but yeah. yeah. That makes sense, man. So Trina Willie on Instagram, Facebook. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. You'll find me there. Cool. See what he's up I'm to. Not the we're best at that stuff, but I try. Yeah, we're gonna post a fucking video of our experience today a little bit, and Heck uh, yeah, yeah, we'll uh, tag you obviously, yeah. so people can find you. Absolutely. I'm, Higher than I thought I was. <laughs> <laughs> Dave? Yeah, no, I, I was going to say I'll do the same thing. Uh, I'm at Dave Willis on Instagram and Twitter, but I'm going to post. Uh, I'm going to look through the videos I took over at your place today, dude, and post some good ones, trying to get some. Hell yeah. Get the word out some more. Well, thanks so much, boys. I appreciate you having me on here and coming out and checking out what I do. It Absolutely, really means a man. lot. Yeah, Everything thanks like for having us over. Far, so appreciate yeah, it. that was awesome. That when was you so invited cool. us, I was like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that Dave, was so you better be off work. Oh, yeah. But yeah. we were supposed to go to Phoenix today, but this all was, the curfew and this whatnot. Was better. Yeah. This was way better. Way better. Dude. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah, dude, thanks for having us over again. Hell dude. yeah. Appreciate thanks, it. Thanks, boys. Appreciate it. All, all right, man. You know where to find us. Thanks for listening, guys. Thanks, Trina Willie. Thank you. Adios. Peace. the dough to get the dough speaking to the masses hit the road to do a show microphone madness trip easy z cheap sunglasses straight passion my third eye active watching backpacks leave the show beeping that shit vocally hearing me locally lyrically know what i'm supposed to be and i don't got no fear of me i'm coming for your brain homie coming at you spiritually stepped into the game and i knew that flow was slippery but check my flow though no. turn the whack news to history let them do their thing instead i put them out they misery and simply put just got this Connected like my boy Big Money, man, this can't be neglected. Grab a mic and check it, coming up in your direction. Gift that I've been blessed with, this hustle is respected and reckless. Poetic mind on the set, it's got the groove to match. Everybody step with it, still haven't fulfilled a whole vision yet. <laughs> Life right now, still so picturesque. I'm rocking every stage until I get a bigger check. Even though I hate money, ready for a bigger step. Do the truth next. Somebody coming at your neck, I could have died today. That's why I'm smoking cigarettes and got precision. Set of skills and imagination, creations, and no facing with motivation. I'm chasing my goals, giants that I be racing. I'ma stride through the finish like a 6 5 Jamaican. Beat in my chest, like, yeah, what my name is. Ink on my chest, what my homie spray paint in. Summer day, smoke, skate, PlayStation. He looking down on me, and I can't stay patient. I ain't just trying to say shit. Sit back and face this real side vibe and smoke instrumental playlist. Chill in the cut. Now these small places, I ain't getting love now, man. Fuck being famous, yeah, they tell me. 
really hard to make it. They don't understand I love being underestimated. Second guess it and I'll take it that you're undereducated. Anyway, this got me thinking about them old records playing why it's filled with soul when it fills my mind. Tell feather shaking while the rhythm takes flight. What I'm doing wrong, I ain't gonna fake right. I don't get no sleep because the music takes night. Nocturnal life with my basement lights. Just roll some nice, keep my drink on ice. If you don't get it once and you don't hear it twice, moving on this beat right here is out of sight. I'ma stay away. <laughs> 